Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Good morning, good morning friends. Welcome to the weekend. I'm Stuart Hillard and welcome to Sewing Street. It's great to have your company this morning, bright and early. We've got a fantastic packed morning for you with loads of gorgeous products and loads of great demonstrations and two very special guests. I digress, it's three very special guests. So, it's a great day to be here. Let's start with the early bird today. We've actually got three rather than just the one. I know, our cup runneth over. Now, I know you love our panels. We bring some great exclusive panels to Sewing Street. I've got three that are on early bird today. Let's start with Crocus. Let's start with Crocus. Now, I know we're heading towards autumn, but I'm already starting to think about springtime and all those lovely decorations that we can start making. These panels are just fantastic. Let me hold that up. I'm going to step right back. $12.99. You've got that patchwork background. We're not doing $12.99. Look at that arrow. We're crashing the price. I like how it matches my sweater. I like that. I like that. The price is coming down. $8.99. It's $8.99 today. That's our early bird special. Now look at the detail in that. First of all, I love the fact that we've got this mock patchwork background and it's a beautiful sort of colour wash effect, starting with these deeper greens and then moving up into pale and mid-toned lilacs. Really fun background that. And then you've got these beautiful supersized crocus 
I don't, is it crocus or crocuses or croci? Do message in and let me know. <laughs> Help me out here. Beautiful crocuses, absolutely. And they really do sort of herald spring, don't they? When you start to see the crocuses coming, I've decided it's crocuses. You start seeing crocuses come through on the, um, I forget what it's called now, outside Harrogate. They're big sort of open fields and they are just full of crocuses. And I always think it's spring. Um, but if you can't wait for March and you want to start thinking about spring now, practicing your free motion quilting, if you want to be better at free motion quilting, this panel is going to be perfect for that. Layer it up with some batting and some backing, and then you could uh, quilt in between, sort of quilt in the ditch if you like, between your squares, and then free motion around the flowers. Add in some extra detailing. If you like to do things like hand embroidery, beading, think about adding some beads into the stamen here. Really, really bring this panel to life. Of course, you could, if you wanted to, add some borders. Now, we've got fantastic stratosphere fabrics in all different rainbow shades, greens, purples, even these oranges and golds. Have a look on the website and pre-order. It's Stratosphere by Free Spirit. And you can get that by the half meter. Half meter would border that beautifully. So that's the crocus option. Remember, we've got three early birds today. Now, let's see what's next. Let's go daffodil. This is really beautiful. I know how. I know what the plural of daffodil is. I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> Daffodai. <laughs> you can't just make up words because you want to, you know. I'm going to cover myself in threads again, but look at that. I love the fact that this has got a neutral background. It's anything but boring, though. You've got all those different patterns. It's almost kind of lacy effects. There's some texture in there. Still got that green at the bottom. It's a really, really gorgeous panel, this. Loads of options. Now, for example, you might like to do things like hand quilt. And one of my favorite techniques is called big stitch quilting, where you use something like cotton perle, or you could use embroidery floss, and then a larger needle. And then the idea is that your quilting is around the motifs and it's a bit bigger than normal, maybe three or four stitches to the inch. Um, so quick and achievable, and it gives a really lovely effect. I could imagine cross hatching through these squares, um, perhaps in something like a taupe um, or even an ivory. So it stood out in some parts and blended in others. Again, that stratosphere would make a great border. We've also got some fantastic rainbow solids coming up in the show. So have a look at those on the website too. You can pre-order now. $8.99 for this panel in the daffodil option. It's normally $12.99. I think that's a bit of a bargain. I think that's a bit of a bargain. Completely exclusive to here at Sewing Street. You won't find this anywhere else. I love those fresh greens across the bottom. This is, these are my greens, <laughs> without a doubt. These are my greens. If you look at my quilts, these are the sort of yellow toned, really fresh, springy and vibrant. That is smashing. And of course, we have a third option, which I'm going to share with you now. You don't have to pick between them. If you don't want to, you can buy all three. And they would make, imagine a sort of triptych, three panels hanging on the wall. Um, what a lovely, lovely effect that would have. And of course, they're very giftable too. You could make one of these up very, very quickly. This might be my favourite. It's the snowdrops. I think it's those slaty blue greys in the background. Eight ninety nine though. Just because it's my favourite doesn't make it more expensive. <laughs> As if it could. Really lovely, this background, isn't it? That's smashing. I'm going to switch it around. I love those greens too. Absolutely beautiful and so, so satisfying quilting around. Now, if you're new to free motion quilting, a darning foot on your sewing machine, drop your feed dogs and then your you control the direction 
that you're stitching. So you're going to stitch forward and back and around those patterns. We've got the perfect machine for free motion quilting. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about that very, very shortly. But you know, this is, this is the kind of panel which is such a great teaching tool and practicing tool for free motion or for hand quilting or embellishing because you know what, organic shapes, it doesn't matter if your lines are wobbly, it doesn't matter if you're on and off a little bit, it does not matter at all. You know, you can really relax with a, a piece of work like this, but you don't have to quilt it at all, you could just um, hem the edges all around. You could add some hanging tabs to the top and then you could put this on a rod, like a curtain rod or um, you know crocodile clips along the top and hang it up. Change it each month. January, February, March. Yeah? Loads of options. And I haven't even talked about would we ever dare cut this up? Could we cut this actually into four pieces, create a window pane effect with a border around the edge, or six or eight panels. There's all sorts you could do. You could really abstract it and cut it on the diagonal and piece through there as well. Turn this into a piece of art. So many different things you could do. What about chenilling this? So, if you've never tried chenilling before, layer this with maybe two, three, four layers of different fabrics. Batiks work particularly well for chenilling because they are um, yarn dyed, they're, they're, the, the threads are all dyed and then it's woven. Um, or yarn dyed uh, solid would also work. And then with, ba and then, uh, with a backing, stitch in channels diagonally or straight and then use a chenille cutter it's like a little rotary cutter but it has a guard underneath that you slip into the channel and then cut through the fabric cut through and then into the wash and the tumble dryer to fluff everything up that would look amazing so many options you could buy one two or three I think at $8.99, this is really worth a multi-buy, isn't it? Because you've so many different creative options there. And I would have no problem cutting a piece out of that for the front of a bag or to make a tote bag out of as well. So there are lots of options or cushions. Lovely message from Wendy this morning, who's in Suffolk. Lovely to see you again this morning. Kiss, kiss. Well, I was out on the Razzle Dazzle last night. I painted the town red till 7.30 and then I went to bed. <laughs> so I'd be fresh for today. But thank you, Wendy. It's lovely to be back. Day two. <laughs> so that's our early bird. That's our early bird. Another lovely message from Meg. Good morning, lovely Stuart. Nice way to start the morning. Have a great day, Meg. Thank you, Meg. I hope you have a great day too. Hope the weekend's full of loveliness. So those are our early birds. But... I've also got to mention this little beauty over here. We've waited six months for the Elna 680 Plus to come back into stock. You've been waiting along with us. It's our hero machine here at Sewing Street. We love this machine. We know you do too. Amazing, amazing deal here. Now, for this month and this month only, we've got it at £1,099. Now, you can have five split pays on that if you want, £219.80 to get the machine home to you. You only need to make the first payment. Now, at the end of the month, on the 1st of October, that price is going to have to rise. It should be that higher price now, but we managed to negotiate with Elna and keep the price down because we wanted to have this machine in stock six months ago, and so did you, when it would have been 1099 So we've honoured that price, but we can only keep that price down until the end of September. So get in there quick. If you want to get it for Christmas, now, <laughs> we started yesterday with huge stocks. We started yesterday with huge stocks. And what we anticipated was that those stocks would last us for the rest of the year and into New Year. So we'd have everyone's Christmas present sorted. It hasn't quite worked out like that, I'm afraid, because yesterday, well over half the stock went um, while we were on air. Uh, incredible, incredible response. Uh, it absolutely flew. And more of you are buying today. 
So what I would urge you to do is if you're thinking this would make a great Christmas present, first off, you need to get it at the lower price. Don't wait until the 1st of October because even if we've got stock, you're going to end up paying more for it. The right price, but why not have it at £1,099 or five interest-free uh, split pays, 21980 But the other side of that is that we might well not have this machine by the end of the week. We don't know how long it's going to last, and the last lot of stock took six months before we could get it, which would take us well into next year. Now we have got a jam pack show coming up. I want to go through it all with you, but if you've got any questions about the machine or anything else, don't forget to get in touch. We love receiving messages from you. Comments, hellos, questions, queries, send them all in. They're all good and I'll do my best to answer them as much as I can. Now we've got a lovely message from Fiona. Morning Stuart, just got your Bags for Life book. Fabulous, thank you. I've got the Elna 680 worth every penny. Real workhorse and looks great too. It is a really stylish machine, isn't it? It is beautiful and sleek. It is a larger throat space than normal. So for example, if you want to make big projects like big quilts, you want to quilt a king size quilt, you can absolutely do that. If you want to do something like um, making curtains or blinds, making large dressmaking projects, it's going to have that capability and that capacity. Delphine's joining us in a little while. <laughs> I can't wait to work with her. Delphine loves the machine. She's going to be using it for her demo today. And so we'll talk about a little bit of the, the functionality of the machine there too. But just wanted to let you know at the start of the day, we do have very, very quickly dwindling stocks of the Elna 680, which only got restocked yesterday. Um, go and have a look on the fan page, see the comments, see what people are saying about it. Yeah, we're all talking about this machine right now. I was using it a couple of days ago. It is a fab machine, 170 stitches, 10 automatic one-step buttonholes. You've got tons of feet, including, most importantly for me as a quilter, a walking foot, a darning foot and a quarter inch foot, but loads of others, dressmaking, home decor, you name it. You've also got a knee lift, you've got a, an extension table as well, all included in the price and a two year warranty. It really is a fantastic machine that's going to grow with you, but be quick, be quick. They're in Elna's warehouse ready to dispatch. That's why it was a little bit last minute, <laughs> to say the least, yesterday. We didn't know if they were in and we wouldn't start talking about it if we didn't know that we'd actually got the stock in. Now we've got some reviews from the website to go through. These are published on FIFO, which is an independent review site. Wow, it's an awesome machine. I love it and all the features. So much quieter and sturdier than my other machine. That's Pauline in County Durham. Sturdy and quiet. You could be describing me. It is a sturdy machine. When you're sewing at high speed, and this machine can do a thousand stitches per minute, um, you want a machine that's going to stay solid on the table and not rattle around like it's about to take off. Um, we just heard there from Fiona, a really sturdy machine and a quiet machine. So if you're a late night sewer like me, an early morning sewer like me, <laughs> or a midday sewer, you're going to have that lovely quiet performance. So you can still listen to the radio or music, still carry on a conversation and not have to do that thing, you know, where you're looking across the factory floor and mouthing the words. <laughs> We've had a lovely message from Sue. I got my Elna 680 from Sewing Street a year ago. Love this machine. So easy to use. It's what you want, isn't it? Whether you're a beginner absolute beginner, never bought a sewing machine before, or you've been sewing your whole life and you're really experienced. Who wants a sewing machine that they've got to spend hours and hours getting to know the most basic functions? We want to jump on and sew. We want to be able to just dive straight in. And you really have got that with the Elna 680 Plus. Most of our guests use the machine. I've got one. They're a terrific, terrific machine. And what's great here, of course, is, you know, guests are coming in and need to be able to just jump on a machine, live on air, and just sew with it. And that's what you've got here. It's very easy to use. You've got an LCD touchscreen, 
which is going to guide you through. So when you pick a stitch, you've also got, of course, at the top here, you've got your stitch guide, okay, with your stitches on top. You've got a little stylus in there as well, which you can use to touch the screen if you prefer to do that rather than use your fingers. Sometimes if you've got long fingernails, it can be easier to use the stylus. And then when you program in a stitch, your sewing machine is going to tell you which foot you need. A, B, G, whatever. And all of the feet have got that debossed on them, that letter debossed on them, so that you know instantly which foot you need. You're also going to get the default setting will come up. This is the standard setting for each of the stitches, but you can control the length and the width. Now, the width of these stitches can go up to nine millimeters. So think about that when you're doing something like using the one of the two alphabets or the numbers and you want to be able to create something with impact. You know, you've got nine millimeter letters, really impactful there. So, so useful. Another lovely message. I love that you're messaging in. Thank you so much. Morning, lovely man. You're doing a fabulous job on Sewing Street. Thank you. Ordered the 680 yesterday, but what kind of thread would be best on it? Elizabeth in West Yorkshire. Well, Elizabeth, that's a great question. And the honest answer is basically any kind of thread. So for the majority of your sewing, you're going to use either a cotton or a polyester thread, a sew-all thread. Um, a sew-all is, is a, a generic name usually given to a thread that's suitable for most things. Okay. Uh, but if you want to use things like metallic thread, embroidery threads, thicker heavier weight threads, no issue at all. If you want to use rayon threads, absolutely fine. Silk threads, no worries. Monofilament. So if you're going to do something like invisible machine applique or you want to maybe do some top stitching, I've used monofilament when I've made things like Roman blinds where there's perhaps a um, very dark, very light pattern and I don't, I can't really pick a colour that will match all of those and I don't want lines stitched across my blind. So I'll use monofilament then. Any thread like that is going to work beautifully. The, this, the key really to working with different threads on any sewing machine is to use the right needle. Now in your manual, it's a fantastic manual that you've got with your Elna, um, you're going to get information about all different kinds of needles and all different kinds of thread. So it's about matching. So for example, if you're using a really heavyweight thread, you're going to use a thicker needle. If you're using a very fine thread, a fine needle. Things like metallics and embroidery threads, you're going to use an embroidery needle. An embroidery needle has, running down the shaft, has a hollow, has a groove running down the front of the needle, which your thread sits in. Um, and it means that then when the needle is kind of jabbing through the fabric, the thread isn't rubbing constantly against the fabric as it pierces. And that's the thing that will shred things like metallic and embroidery thread. So if you use an embroidery needle, no bother. So it's quite a long-winded answer, Elizabeth, but I'm glad you asked. You can use any kind of thread. Another lovely message from Veronica. Hi again, Stuart. Lovely to see you again. Got my 680 yesterday. Updated my 570A. Got your books too. Yippee, Veronica. Thank you so much. I mean, what a great machine to start with. Uh, if you've never bought a sewing machine before, this is really going to grow with you. But also, you know, those of us who've maybe bought a simpler machine, a more basic machine, and then this is an amazing opportunity to upgrade. Now our machine is in stock right now, but our stock is dwindling. Our stock is dwindling really fast. I think this would make the most incredible Christmas present to oneself. You know what I say, the, my favorite presents are the ones I buy myself. I don't want my husband to um, take that too literally, obviously. <laughs> if you haven't managed to get along to any, you know, things like Festival of Quilts, where you might have, have bought your new sewing machine. Obviously, we're going to demonstrate this lots this week and we'll show you some of the features. But also, you know, if you've missed out on those trips, those holidays that you normally would, and, you know, a lot of people are taking the opportunity to treat themselves in a different way. And I know personally, sewing brings joy into my life every single day. A holiday brings me that joy for a fortnight, if I'm lucky. But my sewing machine is there bringing me joy every day. So, 
great opportunity. We had a lovely email yesterday, actually, I think it was from Glynis, who just retired after 40 years in the NHS, and she had bought herself the machine. What a treat. What a treat. Now, I have also got a rather wonderful extra for you, which is the Moda Fat Quarter Mystery Bundle. I've got five different examples here. Let me tell you what you're getting. Ten, ten fat quarters in a bundle, all moda. They're all moda. They're picked at random, but you're getting ten of them. Now, let's look at that price. 37.45, so about £3.75 per fat quarter. That's about right, isn't it, for Moda? I expect to pay about £16, £17 pounds a metre for Moda now. It's a premium brand. I don't like that price. I want it crashed. There it is. I want it crashed. <laughs> I want it lower than that, please. I want it two forty nine dollars a fat quarter, twenty four ninety nine for 10 fat quarters. Be quick. We can't guarantee what you get. They'll all be Moda. You're getting 10 fat quarters. They're all quilt weight cotton, so they're going to work beautifully for things like your quilts, cushions, home decor. Also brilliant for making things like children's clothes out of as well. Bibs, receiving blankets. Great for bag making too. Let's have a little look at this selection. Got some lovely children's themes going on here. If you make quilts for charity, great way of adding to your stash in a very, very affordable way. £2.49, less than two fifty really, for a fat quarter. Amazing value. And then I've got up here, I've got a little bit of a Aztec thing going on. Nice country colours, but actually I really love the combination. Here, I'm thinking Christmas stocking, gift bags. This is working for me. Do love a, a, a fabric with script on. That's one option. You might get something like that, but let's have a look here. We've got something completely different. They're all Moda fabrics. This fabric I've just adore. I'm going to open it out so you can see it. It is preserving season coming up, isn't it? I should be madly gathering blackberries and slows and making jams, making chutneys. This is fantastic for that. You could make something like a casserole cover to keep your casserole warm. Or another thing I've seen which is rather lovely is a tortilla warmer. There's lots of tutorials online. It's just like a circular pocket, okay, with microwave safe quilt batting inside. That's really important. You want something that doesn't contain scrim because scrim is a plastic and that going in the microwave not good. So look out for microwave safe batting and then you put your tortillas inside or your wraps, pop it in the microwave, warms them up and then it also you keep them warm inside. This would be so much fun with that and I would combine it with this right here for Mexican night. We all have fajita Friday, right? We all have Fajita Friday. I love Mexican food. There isn't much food I don't love, but obviously. And then we've also got a little bit of a farmyard theme going on here. We've got some gorgeous farmy fabrics. <laughs> These are great. These are just five we picked out at random. I mean, there's this lovely ombre. That's amazing. I mean, less than £2.50. And then we've got some gorgeous kind of country colours going on. A little bit more of that aztec -y, this lovely blue. These all go very nicely together. I could imagine working those into a quilt perfectly well. It also works with that blue in the background. So, you know, you, you're going to find one or two fabrics that go together, another, maybe three that are going to work together nicely, or just fabrics you can put into your stash and they will be there ready for you when you're ready to use them. All Moda, all 100% cotton. You'll have seen lots of them before on Sewing Street if you're a regular. And this really is probably your last chance to get them. You're getting 10 at 24.99. You could buy multi-buys, of course. This has got some great fabrics in it, this one. 
Christopher Wilson Tate from the Antique Quilt Company. This is gorgeous, featuring a giraffe. These beautiful panels here, really inspired by those. Great for fussy cutting. Modi used so many different designers, work with so many different designers. You'll get sort of exposed to so many different styles in just one of these packs. This is from the same range, it's in the same bundle. Those work beautifully together. Now, I'm just hearing Cat's favourite animal. Our producer today, Cat, has a favourite animal and it is the giraffe. Wow. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. And my favourite fact about giraffes is that they have the same number of vertebrae in their neck as a human. Isn't that right? Google it. <laughs> Love to know what you get in your fat quarter bundle and what you're going to make. Don't forget to tell us on, your, on the fan page. 10 fat quarters, 24.99 is just amazing deal. Right. It's time to have a look at the menu. Let's see what's coming up today here on Sewing Street. Well, first of all, we're looking panels and fabrics. We've got loads more fabrics and some new fabrics coming up. So don't go anywhere. 9 a.m. I'm here with Mark Francis, my lovely friend and Sewing Bee alumni, Mark Francis. He's got the Liberty Ladies Bella Tea dress. It is gorgeous. We've got some great fabrics to go with. Now at 10 a.m., Fan favourite, Delphine's here with the Moda Dresden dress with Delphine Brooks. Look at that. That is something special. It's a brand new design and brand new fabrics. That is a brand new twist. That is something really, really special. Beautiful dress from the first hour with Mark as well. That's the Liberty tea dress. Gorgeous. Wow. And then at 11am we've got the Sussex Seamstress Horsham dress, again with Mark Francis, different take. This is lovely, done in denim. You could make it in all sorts of different fabrics, but Mark's going to show us how to make that really lovely. That is a classic, that's a, a staple for your wardrobe. Mark's hacked the pockets and put those on. You could make it without, you could make that in a really, really gorgeous bold print or keep it very simple, very classic in something like a denim or a linen. We have of course got some lovely fabrics to go with those patterns. And then at 12 p.m. we've got a really, really special show. I'm thrilled, thrilled to um, have some time with two members of the WI and we are going to be talking about why they're celebrating this year, how you can get involved, and we've got an exclusive WI panel to share with you. So that's going to be a really fun morning. I hope you're going to stay with us for the whole morning. You can do the shopping later. Stay with us. Stay with us. The shops will still be there. Pre-order on the website, of course, if you've got uh, some kind of engagement later. Maybe you're going out for lunch. Lovely. I think the ladies from the WI are going out for lunch afterwards. I don't think I'm invited, but you know. But don't forget to go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. This is what will happen. Click on watch the show live. And then you'll get the screen at the top. There we are. Scroll down and you can see our early bird there, our bestseller. It's the sewing machine, OVS. And then underneath you can pre-order any of the products that are coming up in shows. The entire day is right there. So if there are things that you want, just crack on, get ahead. Remember, you only pay one postage and packing, it's $3.95, and then it doesn't matter how many times you check out, you will only pay that one PMP. So it's all there for you. Look at that. Now there's three options with Delphine's gorgeous Dresden dress. Uh, kit. You can have it in pink, blue or green. And Delphine's going to be demonstrating in blue later. Which I'm really excited about. The fabrics are gorgeous. Mark's second hour's right there, even down to the zips. And then we've got some fantastic panels. There's the one for the WI. Now the WI are just synonymous with inspiring women and inspiring creativity and a wonderful, wonderful community. It's completely exclusive to us here at 
Sewing Street and you, maybe you know somebody from the WI, maybe you could make this up for them, it's a tote bag, you could make this for them as a gift. Maybe you could make it for yourself, join the WI and go along with it. It's a great reminder of just how inspiring the WI have been for well over a hundred years. We'll talk about why they're celebrating at 12. Beautiful colours too. Really lovely. Love that. So that's our entire day. Plenty to stick around for and I hope you will. <laughs> now don't forget you can message the studio of course. Let's go back to the website, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can send us a message, send us an email. If you've got any questions, of course, do send them in to use me while I'm here. <laughs> Don't forget this Facebook Live as well. Lots and lots of messages coming through. That's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Don't forget you can message the studio. Okay, so we've got some fantastic fabrics. Brand new Moda, brand new Moda. We're going to start with a panel. Moda panels are so, so popular here at Sewing Street. And this one is called Words to Live By. Now, I think with young people going off to college and university, I'm instantly thinking of them. Now, I'm going to open this out. And let's just have a look at some of the inspiring quotes. So what we've got here is 16 panels or 16 individual motifs. Um, of course, I'm instantly attracted to this one down here, which has a bit of a sewing theme. So that one's terrific. But some really, really good messages here. You are strong. You are strong. Maybe you know someone who's going through some stuff right now. Maybe you know somebody who needs a bit of extra support and a hand on their shoulder. Maybe you know someone who's going through a tough time. Maybe you're going through a tough time and you need a little wall hanging, a little cushion, a bit of something. Even frame this. You are strong. Everyone belongs. I'm going to hutch that over so you can see that one. Everyone belongs. That is beautiful. Dream, do, repeat. That's our mantra for today. So, so, so. <laughs> That's not on the panel, but use what's right in front of you. Well, didn't we do that for the last 18 months, huh? Didn't we do that? Use what's right in front of you. And actually, good advice if you've gone for the Moda Mystery 10 Fat Quarters. Challenge yourself. Use what's right in front of you. Take a deep breath. Exhale. You've got this. Inhale. Now, this one I love. This is words to live by. Be yourself. Can't really be anybody else, can you? That position's been taken. You can only be yourself. You could cut that out. You could border it. Again, I'm thinking stratosphere, a solid, something like that. Either in black or you could choose a, a bright pop of colour or a pastel and make something lovely out of that. Not every um, panel has got words on it. Some of them are just very beautiful, very artistic and contemporary. A happy heart makes a happy home. That's a lovely one. And of course, you could also do a little bit of backstitch embroidery through each of the letters to really make them pop. You could do some big stitch quilting, as I described earlier, around the heart as well. That's a really lovely sentiment, that, isn't it? You're paying just over a pound per square. That's incredible value, isn't it? Mode of quality, it's a big panel. It's a big panel, over a metre. You've got that lovely, lovely rainbow there. I love the contemporary take on the colours. Sewing one, of course, I'm always gonna love. Be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. And that's a quote from the Dalai Lama. Mm, be kind whenever possible, it is always possible. My favourite one, it's not on the panel, is um, don't sweat the small stuff. And by the way, it's all small stuff. <laughs> I love that. If it's not going to matter in 20 years, don't worry about it. Don't spend 20 minutes worrying about it. When life hands you lemons, make lemonade slash gin and tonic. Do please drink sensibly. When life hands you lemons, make, le make lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> Can I change this? 
Can I cross this bit out and put something else? You could do that, couldn't you? That would be fun. Beautiful butterfly. Now this may be about someone's transformation, mightn't it? Yeah, maybe, you've, maybe someone's moving from caterpillar to butterfly. Maybe someone's made a real change in their life and you want to celebrate that. And you don't need words for that, do you? This is the butterfly you are or you're becoming. Lovely. That's a gorgeous image, that sun. Again, it's crying out to me for some extra embroidery. Some kind of embellishments there to just really bring that to life. Give more than you get. Nice. I like that. Give more than you get. And this one, of course, this is a message to Charlie by flowers. <laughs> I don't know if Charlie's watching at the moment, but I promised him while I was away I would buy him a little present. And I have. And I have. I bought chocolates. Nice posh, posh chocolates from a particular hostelry that sells cocoa products. That's a brand new panel today. And we've also got complimentary pre-cuts that go with. Now I know you love charm packs. I love charm packs. Words to live by, by Gingiba. Gorgeous. Now this is the um, fabric line that goes with the panel. So it's all designed by Gingiba. And it's a beautiful, beautiful palette of oranges and pinks. There's a lovely little bit of mustard in there. It's all oh, yummy, loving that. And then we've got some beautiful, what I would call federal blue. It's kind of federal blue and pumpkin. You can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. There's that mustard, some lights of course, and then there's that beautiful, beautiful federal blue. It's absolutely smashing. There's a bit of grey in there as well. Little bit of black at the back too. Now this would work beautifully with the panel, wouldn't it? Imagine cutting out one of the squares, maybe cutting this down into four two and a half inch squares and then piecing a two and a half inch scrappy border to go around those panels and then you could actually piece the whole thing back together again and create a really gorgeous quilt. That would look amazing. That would look amazing. The price is fab, $14.99, and you're getting 42 of those squares, 42 five inch squares. They're all um, decal cut, pinked cut edge, so they, you know, resist spraying, because of course we've got to have a little play. We've got to have a little flick. I mean, just mm, lovely. Five inches isn't big enough. Let's go 10, let's go big. Four times as much fabric here. <laughs> it's the 10 inch layer cake, but it's not four times the price. $44.99 will get you the words to live by, by Gingiba, 42 10 inch squares in all of the same fabrics. It is a Moda layer cake. They invented them and really set the tone, didn't they? We absolutely fell in love with the layer cake when it's brought out. I think so named because it's the idea of a, a layer cake, like a sponge cake that comes in layers, yeah? And this is what your comes in layers, you know? And of course, as well, um, jelly roll, like a Swiss roll. Um, it's kind of cakey theme. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, a cakey theme. So words to live by. I think this is lovely. Now this, of course, would make the most amazing quilt on its own. If you want to go super simple, you could just arrange those, those squares and sew them together. Don't even cut them. But you could also cut them down. You could cut big circles and applique them to a, a plain background. Now, if you were going for a plain background, what would we choose? Well, I reckon I would probably go something like maybe a grey. Maybe like a soft grey would look really nice. Maybe a soft blue. I'm just reaching across. I think this slate blue would look rather good. And the blue still, you've got enough contrast there as well. So that would work. Looks really good with the mustard, doesn't it? This is available by the half metre. Uh, looks great with the orange too. 
If you want any of that, that slate blue, just have a look on the website. It's in today's show too, so it'll be easy to find. But you could mix white with this. You could uh, use a, you could even use a cream, you know, as so long as it was kind of the mustard end of tan, you know, but a pale version. That would work too, like a pale sand would look very, very nice with that. Mix and match with the panel. What about doing that? What about doing that? You could have alternate blocks using these and the quotes in between them. So much that you can do with the panel and then mix it with either the charm pack or the layer cake from Gingerba, from one of our favorites, Moda, $44.99. Remember, it is brand new today. We've not had this before. It's a brand new product. So grab it while you can. Now, of course, we know that the price of cotton is going up and fabrics are going up. But right now, we are still at the price that we've come to expect and hope could last forever. But it won't, <laughs> I'm afraid. It won't. Everything's going up. So, good time to stock up. Lovely fresh colours. Great for autumn, of course. Really lovely autumn palette. Maybe you're freshening up a bedroom ready for Christmas guests. This would look absolutely beautiful. Or someone heading off to university or college and you want to send them off with a quilt, maybe a wall hanging, some cushions to decorate their room in halls. You know, you're not really allowed to put anything on the wall much. So adding some quilts, maybe a throw, something to snuggle under, something to feel connected with home. Maybe you like making bears. You could patch these together and then create um, and then cut out your shapes for a toy, for a big bear. And then you've got a beautiful patchwork bear to send somebody with. So many different things you can do with a layer cake. It is terrific. Now, we've got a beautiful, one of my favourite designers for Moda actually is Kate Spain. Um, I just love, I love her prints, but I also really love her batiks and we've got a gorgeous batik roll from Kate Spain. Let me show you. It is the most incredible palette. Oh this is lovely. Now you get 40 two and a half inch strips. I had to get my heart quilt out as soon as I saw this because I instantly thought oh well, that would look so good made into my rainbow heart quilt which is hanging right behind me. Now, the Rainbow Heart Quilt is from my book. There it is. There it is. I'll step out of the way for a second. Oh, and I'm stepped into it. Out of the way. Ah, see, I, I, haven't got, I haven't got it yet. <laughs> so this I've done in Cafe, and I've done very much a rainbow. It's two and a half inch strips. It's in my book, Simple Shapes, Stunning Quilts. Really quick and easy. Um, we did sell out of those the other day, but we'll get them back in. But this would work really well done in the shades from Kate Spain's new Jelly Roll. So let's have a look at some of the fabrics there. We've got these absolutely beautiful raspberry pinks. I love the multi-tonal effect of batiks. They're just wonderful. We've got some, ah, oh, now that's a gorgeous one. And I love the fact actually that depending on where you pick on the strip, you get more of the white, more of the cream, more of the pink. This is lovely, mixing in a little of sort of deep, plummy blue. Gorgeous, that. And some watercolour effect. Always good to have. I mean, this would work beautifully for so many different patterns. Maybe you've got a book on using strip rolls or jelly rolls. This would work with those patterns beautifully. But it would also be smashing, <coughs> excuse me, for my rainbow hearts. Now, once we've worked through all of those purple and pink shades, we start moving into more teals and purpley blues, some turquoise in there and some teal. Now, if you want something to bring about a bit of colour confidence and a bit of a change to your makes, you can't go wrong with a jelly roll because you'll have prints in there, you'll have colours in there that you wouldn't pick off the bolt, guaranteed and it pushes you. Use what's in front of you. Words to live by. They really are words to live by. Look at the glow on that fabric. That's really hard to achieve with anything other than a batik. Kate Spain's a fabulous designer. I love her sense of colour. I love her sense of design. That is just beautiful. 
so many different shades going through right into really pale and bright. Oh, these are my greens. We're getting into my lime greens. Very beautiful. And still with that touch of teal. I just love that. It's beautiful. You're getting 40 two and a half inch strips there. It's Kate Payne's Newy. It is an absolute delight. Confection Batiks. Now, talking of gorgeous panels and autumn, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. 9 99 for this. I can't believe that. That's amazing. 9 99 The Harvest Whisper Autumnal Panel. Now, I, if I was a season, I'd be autumn. This is my season, and I think that is stunning. A basket of apples. Our director's Baltic winter. Frosty. <laughs> what season are you? When do you really come alive? I come alive in the autumn. It's all that coziness. Wood fires, baskets of apples, pumpkins, crunchy leaves under your feet when you're walking in the woods, going blackberry picking, candles. It's just beautiful, isn't it? And I love the fact that although you've got those six panels, and again, cut them out, turn them into cushions, placemats for autumn. What about turning them into placemats? Mix them with some solids, mix them with some tone on tones, mix them with some prints from your stash. Create six different placemats. What about a table runner? What about a table runner? And I love the fact that you've got these elements down the sides as well. Again, that's crying out to create. What about a bell pull? What about a bell pull? I've embroidered those, a decorative bell pull. So if you've never made or seen one of those, you know, we tend to embroider them now. It's, they're usually a panel about so long, about so wide, often embroidery, and then there'll be like a little hanging, metal hanging thing at the bottom and at the top. And they are reminiscent of old fashioned bell pulls where you would pull that to call the servants. And now they're a nice decorative feature. Um, I, I have a working one in my house, obviously, to pull for the servants. <laughs> I wish, I wish. <laughs> I don't know. I do everything for myself. It's the best way to be. But a gorgeous, gorgeous palette there. Really lovely. You could also, what about making an apron and appliqueing a panel on, maybe turning it into the pockets. So much you can do with a panel. I really think they're a fantastic starting point. And of course, I'm also going to say I'm bound to practicing your quilting. They're just terrific. They're a great base because one of the most challenging things when you're trying to quilt is what do I quilt here? Well, it's obvious what you quilt here. You quilt around the shape, you quilt down the lines, you add some embellishments. And then there's even a border for you to practice doing a little something, maybe like a figure of eight through the border or a little loop the loop or something like that. All good practice. I think they'd work really well with grunge. Now I've got a question from Elaine about batiks. Now, Elaine asks, hi Stuart, probably a silly question. There are no silly questions. Does batik have a right and a wrong side, please, Elaine? Well, technically, yes. Technically, yes. Let me just grab, I'll grab a strip. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. Hopefully I'll be able to see it. What you find on batik is that when it's, when it's um, like a printed batik like this, what you tend to find is that one side of the batik is slightly sharper. The image is slightly sharper than on the other. It's so slight. It is so slight. I think this is the right side because this is slightly sharper, slightly brighter than this side. Now, we are all having a job to tell which side is which, which is good news, isn't it really? Because I think it means, although technically it has a right and a wrong side, in practice, it really doesn't matter. But it's a brilliant question and it's one that comes up. 
But if you ever wonder, just flip a bit over and see which side looks sharper, and that's the right side. But you might want a slightly more softer image, mightn't you? In which case the wrong side is good. I mean, I'm always looking at the wrong side of fabric to see whether I can incorporate that. And sometimes if I want a slightly lighter version of one fabric, I'll flip it over and I'll put the two in. It can work. It can work. Now, let's have a look at the tonal fabric bundle. Now then, this is a very, very useful bundle here. I'm really reaching. Whoa! Good old stretch for in the morning. Now this is a bundle of toning. Really lovely, sort of um, muted shades here. Very, very lovely. You're getting half a metre of each one of these. And we've got that gorgeous slaty federal blue that I was using earlier on, mixing that in with words to live by. That works really well. So we've got that federal blue. Then we've got this, which is a more of a chambray blue, more of a light chambray. We've got a nice mid-toned gray. If you like modern quilting, that is such a great shade to mix in. It looks great in modern quilts. Um, gray is the color, isn't it? Silver and gray is now the color for interiors. A lot of people are decorating their houses in shades of gray and silver. So again, really useful one to have and works really, really well with lots of the modern, modern prints as well. Also, it's become a very, very popular color for um, babies and nurseries, children's um, decor. You know, little bits, little bits. Everybody loves a gray. Then we've got a lovely soft lilac. This is very pretty. This is kind of sugared almonds. It's gentle and romantic, soft, like me. <laughs> That's a pretty colour. It's called Misty Blue. I, I think I disagree. <laughs> I would call this sage. It's like a light sage, but it's a lovely colour, isn't it? Soft and gentle. It's going to mix really well with tones, so things with grey in them, or a grey tone to them, more antique looking, softer, gentler. I think this would mix really well actually with the um, early birds. These actually, all of these would mix really well with the early birds. If you wanted to add borders, bindings, these would be great. And then finally, light grey. Again, the modern quilter's best friend, I think. Light grey, mid grey, can't go wrong. It's a great neutral. It's a great neutral. All 100% cotton, of course, 44 inches wide. You're getting half a metre, Rosen Hubble. Now they are pre-cut as half metres. So if you're multi-buying on these, you're going to get a bundle and another bundle rather than piece, you know, still together. So they're already cut in half metres. So just be aware when, when you order. But these are great stash, stash builders. Great to have in your stash, great to have for mixing with things like panels and printed fabrics. Also work really well with batiks. I also think we've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a landscape going on there. Useful in landscapes. Very, very versatile. Good for linings. Now you know my favourite colour is rainbow. If you didn't, you do now. My favourite colour is rainbow and this is glorious. Oh, look at that. Kat's done a gorgeous job of creating a rainbow there for me. I do love that. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. A white in there as well, of course. I know there isn't white in a rainbow. Uh, although, although, if through a prism, yeah, white light splits into rainbow. So it's very appropriate. But also, if you are making something like a rainbow quilt, say quarter log cabin, okay, start with a square of one colour and then a really thin strip of white on two sides, then your next blue, two and a half inch strip, then a really thin strip of white and separate out the rainbow with white in between each one. That looks gorgeous. Or a pale grey, that would also work really well. Don't forget the pale grey in the previous bundle. This is beautiful. You're getting... Let me see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven half metres. So you're getting five and a half metres in total. 
That's an amazing price, $37.99. It's all Rose and Hubble, 100% cotton, quilt weight. So that is going to mix absolutely beautifully with any of your quilt weight cottons, your Moders, your Riley Blakes, your Batiks. You can mix those in together. It is glorious, really smooth, really smooth, really lovely quality. Core, Kelly Green. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Now I've got some panels. We've got some extra panels here that I want to show you. I was talking about landscape quilting. A good place to start is a panel. These are real pieces of art. This is the Heron panel. Let me get this out and show you. $11.99 for this. And it's got an almost photographic quality, hasn't it? Incredible. $11.99. And the detail in that is amazing. Really finely detailed. That is terrific. Look at that. Or painting. It looks like a painting. Now again, if you're maybe you're not a quilter, maybe maybe you're not a sewer. Maybe you've switched on and thought, well, that looks interesting. You could stretch this over an art frame and staple it around the sides and back. Create a piece of art with it. Hang it on the wall. That is stunning. That eye's going to follow you around the room, isn't it? I always feel like somebody's watching. Amazing. I love those colours too. Slaty blues, grey blues would work really, really nicely with our bundle of solids. And then our second panel that we've got, that one was portrait, this one's landscape. I think you're going to like this. Fly like an eagle. Oh, I've got it upside down. Australian eagles. There we go. I thought that was sky, it's water. <gasps> that is incredible. That is incredible. And the level of detail in that is amazing. Now whether you want to treat that as a whole panel, quilt it, embellish it, add borders, really really superb. But also as well, I think, I think for $14.99, if you wanted to cut this up, I'll tell you what I would do with it. I would cut this into strips, almost wedge shapes, yeah, almost wedge shapes, and I would then re-piece it together to sort of abstract that image. That is a high level of detail, isn't it? Spirit of the skies. It's almost a metre in size by 44 inches wide. 14.99. Oh, can you imagine being there right now? Mm. The eagles overhead. In your tent. Oh, no, you've put me off now. In a tent. We're going to go for a break now so that Mark Francis can get ready for our next show together. I can't wait. Don't forget you're checking out to check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Email in if you've got any questions or comments, any queries too. We'll do our best to answer them. If you've got any questions for Mark Francis, of course, then do email in anything dressmaking. I'm sure he'll have a go at so do stick around, go and grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family-run customer service team are on call 24 7. 
They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Maiouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment but I'm originally from Staffordshire uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things so London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts and then Staffordshire is very rural so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable so I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defence, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Welcome back. How's that cup of tea doing? <laughs> it's great to have you company. Welcome to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. Got a packed morning for you. So stick around. Loads of wonderful products, loads of great demonstrations, and most importantly, of course, brilliant, brilliant guests. I'm here with Mark Francis for this hour, and we've got a wonderful product. There he is. There he is. Look when he that. said more importantly, I thought you were going to refer to yourself then. Yeah, oh, goodness me, no, no. More I'm just here to point at fabrics me. and it's all about you, Mark. And <laughs> a wonderful, wonderful dress that you're going to be showing us. It's Liberty, it's the Bella tea dress. This is a bit special. Mm, it's really lovely, really lovely. And we've got some fabulous fabrics. As we've well, got right? fabulous fabrics to go with it, of course. But look at the detail there. Really pretty feminine collar. 
That looks terrific. Wow. That's Laura, my neighbour. Laura, neighbour Laura. I'm really lucky to have such, she's, she just uh, loves, I take a nice frock round. She gets her dumbbells out. Well, as, as you do. As you do. It's terrific though, isn't it? That is a gorgeous dress for all year round. I and mean, it's great out in the garden, of course, for a party or something like that. But also for going to work. Yeah, just a good day dress. Beautiful. Love the detail of the collar. Great bit of pleat detail in the, in the sleeves as well. Maybe you've got a wedding coming up. That would make a great dress to wear at a wedding. But you could also team that with boots. Yeah, you could really kind of dress it down for everyday wear. It could look really sort of cool and boho as well, depending on the print that you used. A nice Liberty print would look real boho there, I think. Lots of lovely options. We've got it open at the neck there, but you could have that um, straight across too without the neckline. There are lots of options. Look at those. You could add some lace detail in. A little tie. Is that a little tie at the collar? That's cute. Some really nice detail there. Two different, two different size breakdowns here. So important. So we've got one option, which is a size six to a size 14. So you've got six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. Average skill level. Okay, so that's one option there. 17.49, plus your P&P, if this is the only thing you're buying today, but do, Shop ahead and have a look on the website, see what you can pre-order. Remember, you only pay one postage and packing. So that's one option, sizes six to 14. And then our second size option right here is sizes 14 to 22. That's terrific, Mark. That's a really good size range, isn't it? Six to 20. 22. I'd need the size six, I was making it for myself. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'd definitely be going for this size. It's a terrific dress, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, the Bella Tea dress from Liberty. Now maybe you're a fan of Liberty fabrics or Liberty style fabrics. You like little florals, ditzy florals, terrific. This would also look great in plain cotton. You could go for something really bold too. Would look great in linen. And I suspect mark a fabric without too much stretch in it. Yeah, I made this in cotton so yeah. that there was no stretch in this at all. I don't think you need it. It's got a no. nice side fastening on it. Great. Great, so no stretch required. So plain weave cotton, linen, something like that would work really, really well. Now we have some lovely bundles actually of fabric. You know that we do this for you. We like to make things easy, straightforward. Let's have a look at the bundles that we've got. We've got three different options. This one we're gonna start with. So you're getting four and a half meters of fabric. This is gorgeous, this is a bit antique looking. I love that. I love that. This, this to me reminds me of like um, an engraved, you know, an engraving illustration, an engraved illustration. Beautiful. There's a sort of um, a greyish blue on tan, almost like a tea dye. It's a poplin weight, so it's a nice light cotton, very firmly woven. So it's going to be really, really easy to work with. You're getting four and a half meters there, but you're also getting a zip. And we need a zip for the pattern, right, Mark? Well, you can use a zip. There are options to put poppers in as well. Ah, OK. So if you don't fancy tackling a zip, you don't have to. But a zip's no big deal, is it? It's no biggie. No, I don't think so, no. A zip's no biggie. You know, my tip is always to practice the skills in isolation. So if you, you're good with all the other stuff, but you'd never put a zip in before, get some waste fabric and sew the zip. And just keep practicing sewing the zip until you feel confident. Don't do it for the first time on your dress. Do you agree? I, 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 Unless you're on the sewing bee. Then you just have to go and then do you just it. don't have any choice at all. <laughs> just like make a pair of leather trousers out of some carrier bags. Could you? Could you, love? Could you just do that? Four and a half metres of fabric there, beautiful poplin. It's rose and herbal. It's very lovely. Thirty-one ninety-nine. Now four and a half metres is going to be enough to make up to the largest size. So that comes with a brown zip. Let's look at the red bundle next. This, this is gorgeous. You agree at home because we've only got two left. So be quick. Oh, that is delish. Lush. It is lush. It is lush. Though apparently, Mark, so am I. 
<laughs> Mark put on his social media, I'm on Sewing Street tomorrow with the lush Stuart Hillard. I don't think I've ever been described as a lush before. <laughs> well, it was, was the Rupert the Bear sweater yesterday. Oh. It sent me all of a tither that day. <laughs> I do love a cherry red sweater. It's very Christmassy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sold out. Sorry. I'll just fold that up again, shall I? Oh, is it gone? It's gone. It's gone? It's gone, Mark. It is very lovely. But we've got other gorgeous options as well. We've got this beautiful floral. This is smashing. Four and a half metres again. This is such a beautiful weight. This is all the poplin weight. It's really buttery soft, buttery. so smooth. Buttery. It's so smooth, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. And you've got a lovely freshness to this. Lovely freshness. You've got that lovely sort of cornflowery blues. You've got a little bit of sort of clarity red almost in there. Just a little detail in there. Nice fresh green. Oh. It's a tea dress fabric, isn't it? Tea dress I made fabric. tea dresses. Yeah, just gorgeous. I haven't had it back. Haven't you? No. A saga was continues. Was that for the show? Mm. Oh. It was over a year. It was maybe 18 months before we got yeah. our garments back. And, um, you know, and I've still got them hidden away. You get a zip with this. You it's a 12-inch zip. I do. I still have all of mine. Yeah. Yeah, all carefully packed away and... Never to see the light of day ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the magic of TV, these things look much better on TV than they do in real life, believe me. Believe me. When I look back at some of the garments that we made on Sewing Bee, yeah. But you had some hours. Better. Mm. You had, was it seven and a half hours to make a, an A-line skirt? We would, no. have had, we would have had two. No, we had three. Oh, was it was it three? three hours for the A-line <laughs> skirt, which was the very first challenge, which I just, oh, it was so ugly, the one I made. It was awful. It was sort of just hanging in tatters. <laughs> but <laughs> at that stage, all I wanted was to be sort of like under the radar, you know, please let me go at the end of this and I'll just shuffle off home. Under the radar, um, Stuart Hillard. I know, I know it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it, really? I thought just be really quiet, just blend, be very beige. Um, and now we have got some Liberty <laughs> fabric that you could make the dress from. We've got some fabrics right here. Let me show you. Now these are by the half meter. So you pick how much you want. We've got a navy. This is lovely. I like this design. Very nice. Now this is very on trend actually, using the sort of the shadow effect or sort of monochrome floral. Um, that's lovely. Now this is the one you made your sample from. That glows, mm. Mark. It's really lovely and it really suited both Laura and there's also Eve, the other model. I think there's some mm. pictures of Eve around in the machine as well. It's glowy. I mean it's just two colours but doesn't it pop? I think that colour would suit anybody. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm. Easy to sew with. Very much so. Yeah, I, I do like a fabric that behaves itself. Me too. Me too. I mean, tricky fabrics can really deliver sometimes, but for most of my sewing, I want fabric that's easy to work with. So that's in the blue, in the dark blue. Midnight ink. Midnight ink. So obviously our bundles that we're selling are four and a half metres. This is by the half metre. So if you wanted three metres or three and a half metres, then you're going to order six units, six and a half units. If you want four and a half metres, of course, then you need to order nine units. Easy peasy. Now this is the light blue. And this is a real sort of summer's day, spring, summer day, the colour of the sky. Oh, that with a little bit of a tan. Oh, do you remember getting a tan? <laughs> do you remember last year I was as brown as a berry? I wore shorts from March until the end of October last year. And just, you know, and this year, I don't think I've worn them once. Shorts at your My age. legs look like milk bottles. Shorts at your age though. Yeah, no, really. Yeah, with 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 suspenders, <laughs> with with braces, <laughs> leather. Do you know, th there's a man like that that cycles around Kenilworth. He wears cycling shorts uh -huh. and he wears a shirt and he has clip-on braces on his cycling shorts. It's fabulous. fabulous, gorgeous. I do love a short, but yeah, just not in this weather, I'm afraid. Now this lovely light blue is beautiful. I think that's gorgeous. If you like chambray, if you like light denims, things like that, that's absolutely beautiful. 
really gorgeous. Final colour, smoky grey. And this has got almost like a touch of lilac in it, I would say. It's one of those dusty, dusky lilac, thank you. <laughs> dusky lilac. So it is that kind of grey end of lilac. Very, very pretty this. Very pretty. That's smashing. So those are three more options that would work really well for the Bella Tea Dress by Liberty. Remember that pattern comes in two different size brackets. So your smaller sizes, six up to a 14, okay? If you're somewhere in between a, a size, you can always just cut in between the lines and just make it slightly bigger or slightly smaller than the full size. But that's your six to 14, okay? And then exactly the same option, it's the same price too, is a 14 up to a 22. So again, if you're borderline 14 and you're sometimes you take a 16, most of the time you take a 14, I would go for this pattern because then you can sort of go slightly between the 14 and the 16. Smashing. Lovely message from Karen. From Karen. Morning. Loving the show. This dress is beautiful. It is beautiful and love Liberty anything. Can you show the size measurements, please? Karen. It's from Mrs. Elliot. Ke Mrs. Kent. Over Look. to you. Mrs. Kent. Mrs. Mrs. Kent. So there we go. Now then, here are the sizes. So the finished garment measurements down the bottom in that bottom box on the left. Um, so this is 45 inches. This is the length. Ah, here we go. This is better. Okay. So the size six is for a 30 and a half inch bust, 23 inch waist. 32 and a half inch hip. Right up to the 22, 44 inch bust, 37 inch waist, 46 inch hip. Take a quick pick of that. Or of course you can always go back on YouTube and watch the show again if you want a, a closer look. Now we've got another question from April. April, hi Stuart and Mark, great show so far. Receiving oh, it judgment. Could, it could, Thank it you. could slide. Uh, yep, yeah, wait till Mark starts demoing. It's going to get better. <laughs> Can I please ask what the difference is between poplin weight fabric and quilting cotton? Thanks, April. Mark? <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent question. You're the expert. I, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I can answer that. Well, it's just a light <laughs> poplin is a lighter, lighter weight cotton. So they're both 100% cotton, but a poplin is really quite considerably finer and thinner than something like a quilt weight cotton. So quilt weight cotton is going to feel a bit like a napkin, I suppose, that sort of weight. Whereas poplin, think about like men's shirts are made of that kind of poplin weight, um, light, um, not sheer, not see-through at all, but a very fine, smooth, fine thread. So you get a very um, light weight. So I always say like spring, summer wear, I think poplin, absolutely perfect for shirts, poplin, great. Moving into autumn, winter, I tend to make shirts out of more of a quilt weight cotton. They're a little bit thicker, a little bit more sturdy. However, when you're doing things like layering, the Bella tea dress I think would look gorgeous with a little cardi, little, mm. little pashmina for a, for a wedding or a party, little pashmina around your shoulders, gorgeous. And then you can uh, use that poplin weight add some layers and that's going to be plenty warm enough and of course once you start dancing the pashmina comes off. Mark, let's demo. Let's do some demo and you could hang around for yarn lane and get some yarn to knit yourself. Of course you could. Something. Knit the cardigan. Knit a shrug. Yes. Knit a shrug. I love a shrug. A shrug. Mm. Love a shrug. Or a bolero. A bolero. Bolero. A bolero. Call it a bolero. Bolero. You say potato and I say, who says potato? I would just like to ask, who out. says potato? Because it's in the song. <laughs> and I've never heard anybody say, I'd like some potato, please. Well, maybe anyway, I should do that. I'm I gonna, digress. Next time I ask for some potatoes, yeah. I'm going to say... Can say some, that and see what they say. I can have some potatoes. I'm going to go, you what? <laughs> <laughs> Try that in Warwickshire. Right then, Mark. Right. Lots of lovely options on this dress. And you can really... I love this on patterns where you can really mix and match 
what's available on there. So uh, I kept quite it quite simple on my version that I made. I put the collar on, uh, which is the version I'm going to be showing you today. Hopefully we'll get around to the collar. Uh, but you could put ties on there as well. Uh, there is also an option to put some lace and other details on the front. Um, if you look at the packet on the back, it, there we go. So you can see you've got options for pockets. Everybody loves pockets, especially on a frock. Uh, you could put some nice kind of lacy bits uh, or whatever you like, sort of over the back, over the shoulders and down the front, round the pockets as well. So you could really mix and match this or you could put some inner seam pockets if you wanted to go completely off left field. You could put some, some inner seam pockets yeah, in. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Is that in the pattern or would that be a hack? No, that would be a hack if you wanted okay. to do inner seam pockets. But if you didn't fancy those pockets, you wanted something, you mm -hmm. could just, that, that's a nice But there's loads forward. of lovely tutorials for things like that. I know Tilly and the Buttons has got a nice inseam pocket tutorial. For free. For free. Free. Yeah, for free. Free. Yeah, you see? Love free. Don't get anything for free here. Let's carry on. So this is how we're going to do, we're going to start off by doing the front. So I've already put the darts in. If I just show you on the back, there's the darts put in there. Now, just a little, I won't go through this because I have done darts quite a few times, but I don't backstitch my darts at the tip there. I will uh, leave it at uh, the loose end and then tie them up. Why is that? And that is so you get a nice flush. You don't want to have a dimple. On, on the tip of your darts. No, it can really show, can't it? It can. It, it can really show on the front. That's a brilliant tip. And just backstitching back and forth there can, can create that problem. It could be problem. okay, but you could also end up with, uh, with a puckered yeah. puck dart. And yeah. you don't want no that. one wants a puckered dart. Or, no, they don't. And press them nicely as well. That's really key because you can sometimes, even if you can sometimes press these little things out, depending on the fabric that you are working with. But if you if you you know get it wrong first time, unpick, do it again. Yeah. You're not cutting anything away, so so there's there's always a way back. There's always a way back until you start cutting bits of fabric. Or off, if it's late in the day, you throw it across the room and you storm out. <laughs> <laughs> so what you did on the beam up? Uh, many times. Did you? No, no I didn't. We didn't have anybody storm off anywhere on ours. You know, everyone was very friendly. It was all very calm. There was all cake and, and tea all the time, of course, which, you know, really? always gets me on side. I mm. didn't know what time of day it was. No. I, I, you, no time. I, you go back to the green room and think, well, there's food here. The I, green I room. The, the green, green room. Well, you had a like, green room. It's like a student common room, really. But there'd be food there and thinking, I don't know if I'm hungry. Do I eat this? Should, I don't know what time it is. Yeah. I'll have a sandwich just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Because and then discover it was 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is the opening. It's just this little tiny piece here. This little tiny piece which I've hemmed on the back just to get rid of those loose ends. We're going to place it down front and centre. I'm eyeballing this this morning, but do check on your pattern exactly where it needs to go. And I'll just pin that in place just to make sure it doesn't wriggle. Yeah, lightweight fabrics can shift around, can't they? So lots of pins. Pin it. And I need to try and get all the pin, all the pins back in the pair pin in the correct place or or cat will uh, Oh she gets nasty. Oh gosh, okay. It has to be coordinated. <laughs> gosh. I just sort of throw mine towards my magnetic pin holder and hope that they catch. Oh, we can't have molested pin holders here. Oh. It, um, it interferes with John's pacemaker. <laughs> oh dear, I'm laughing. But He's safely on a plane. It's not true, is it? No, it's not true. No. Um, <laughs> That's terrible then for laughing. <laughs> Gosh. He has safely left the country. Yes, yes. I always use a magnetic pin holder simply because I've got a cat, Mrs Mills, and so I can go across Mrs. the Mills. carpet and across surfaces and it just picks up any stray pins. Does she have a brightly coloured piano that she sits no. on? <laughs> she's not often she's not named after that Mrs. Mills. Oh. That where well, I used to work in a pub in Birmingham and we used to have a drag queen who used to come who was called Mrs. Mills. <laughs> and I just I had no idea that there was a piano player called Mrs. Mills. I just thought what a cool name there they have a cat. I'm going to call it Mrs. Mills and so I did. <laughs> and she suits the name very well. Especially now she's 18. You 18. Know, she's kind of grown into the name. Almost she was Millie when she was young. Almost as old as you. Almost. In cat years, she's about 126. Oh. Well, In dog years, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, no, that's the iron. 
We nearly had a disaster. We're fine. A, a Debbie We're Shaw fine. moment. Keep sewing. Because <laughs> Debbie Shaw... Bit. So where are you sewing there, Mark? Is it straight down the centre? I'm just doing a V. Now, mm -hmm. do mark it, unlike me. Just doing a V on the fabric. And I'm just going to do... So you're putting right sides together there? Right sides together. Yeah. I'm just going to do one stitch across one at the stitch bottom. Across. And then I'm just going to go back up the other side. Oh. And you would, on the pattern, you would mark this V, but you're flying by the seat of your handmade tweed pants. I, I, which yes. is lovely. Do you like Both my options tweed? are available. Do you like my tweed pants? They are, they're fantastic. Scissors. You have a great vintage look, I love it. Do you like it? Mm, I do. Thanks, I do. Oh no, those are crocodile scissors, they'll never do. Crocodile Those are crocodile scissors. scissors. Pinking shears. Pinking shears. Mummy Hillard once caught me when I was about five, sitting in the pantry. Makes it sound like it was the 1930s, doesn't it? I'm sitting in the pantry with a sheaf of paper and her pinking shears, cutting through the paper because I love the sound. And it was particularly, it was particularly sensory doing it in the dark, and I was hiding from her because I knew I shouldn't do it. And she walked into the pantry and found me. Actually, I didn't really get into trouble. She just explained why I shouldn't do it. <laughs> love you, Mum. I love the fact that you call her Mummy Hillard. Oh, everyone calls her Mummy Hillard. Oh, do they? So effectively, you've sort of like created a facing there. Yeah? That'll do. It's fine. Yes, so I've just, it's just a little facing. And now I've sewn that. There we go, Ellie, in the middle of the screen. I'm just going to press it over. Now this Make might be the moment where, you th where you're thinking at home, if you were making this, you'd be sort of, oh, I've got to cut into my precious fabric. Mm. Um, this is where getting some waste fabric and just creating that neckline, just so you've done it once and you know you didn't feel like you had to hold your breath. Look how neat that creates, that V-neck. That oh, is so bless you, clever. Bless you, Stuart. That is so clever. Look at that. It's nice and simple, and if you wanted to, you could choose a, a contrasting piece of fabric, and when you kind of, uh, when you moved around in it, you might mm -hmm. have a, just a little flash of a little flash yeah. of something else, like a bright pink or something like that, hot pink, just to pick out that little bit of pink in the, there in we the go. print. That is super neat. Now you could sew that down if you wish. You could understitch it, which is where you're sewing the the seam allowance into the uh, onto the onto the facing underneath mm -hmm. uh, or you could just do a nice bold top stitch round there if you wanted just yeah to, just to and if you were using out. a solid solid fabric like a linen you could even do that in a contrast color couldn't you yeah yeah smashing i love that and also if you didn't like that sort of open part of the top you could put a rouleau loop and a little button yes. something like that that would be sweet was that an option on the other one of the other ones there are lots of options uh, it's a great pattern yes but yeah definitely a ruler loop if you didn't want to i didn't do one on mine but um we all have our own little things. Eyelets and a ribbon. Or a big fat chunky zip. Big no. fat chunky zip. No, maybe not. All of my trousers need a big fat chunky zip. <laughs> Good. So that looked like a really easy process, Mark. Thanks for that. There like are that. some little gathers. Uh, mm -hmm. When you're putting this on, uh, you'll put a row of gathers just around there. So I'll just show you how I'm going to do that. Do mark where they sit. I haven't today. Oh, Mark, from now then, you're going straight to the machine and you're gathering by machine. I am. Got some lovely messages. Oh, good. Uh, Laurie's uh, message saying, Morning, Mark, lovely to see you and this demo of a lovely dress. Have a lovely day. Ah, thank you. That's from Laurie. Lucy has said, Morning, boys and tea. Oh, thank you. I was like to be called a boy. Morning, boys. <laughs> Makes me feel young. Great to see you on this drab morning. In Chatteris, I'm working on the Turlo shirt, Mark. <gasps> Fabulous. Is uh, that from Crazy Lucy? Love Auntie Lucy. Love Auntie Lucy. That's just the only person I know lives Find in Chatteris. From Clive. Clive ah. in Warwickshire. Do you want to read that one, Mark? Uh, good morning, Stuart. Just popped in to say hi before I do my radio show. Say hi to Mark for me. Hi. Radio show? Why oh, is he yeah. doing a radio show on a Saturday? I don't know. You tell me. Perhaps he got a call. Clive's your husband. Well, he was when I left the house this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently you don't know what he does with his days, so I think you need to have a talk. I, Let's well, <laughs> I leave him on the sofa and I come back to him on the sofa. 
<laughs> oh goodness me, loads of lovely messages from people, loads of people watching, Sandra's watching, Anita's watching, Natalie and Irene. Now, where are we sewing? You're sewing near that neckline. I am sewing near the neckline and I'm set my machine to the longest stitch it will do. In this case, it's a five. Okay. And I'm not going to tie off the ends. Whereabouts on the seam allowance are you stitching? I, well, this is a one and a half centimetre seam allowance, so I make sure I do it within the seam allowance. So gotcha. I did mine about a centimetre. You right. could do it a bit closer. Uh, it's usually good practice to do two rows of stitching mm -hmm. in case one breaks. Okay. But as this is only a short piece, I think I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. And you just find one of the ends, which you'll leave loose. Top or bobbin, does not matter? Well, I'm or pulling the bobbin, hand. actually. Yeah. I think it will work. It works best with the bobbin, but... And it's gathered. There we go. And that will be sewn in when you put the collar on. Oh, that's pretty. It is. You could do a pleat if you wanted, I suppose. You'd, oh, no, you'd, that's lovely. You'd have to measure that. But I love the fact that you've been able to do that on my machine. I always think gathering, needle and thread, laborious, takes a long time. But that's a brilliant technique. Yeah. Longest stitch on the machine. Long, yeah, you could four or a five. Mine goes up to a five. Mm -hmm. Just remember to turn it back down afterwards. Fabulous. So we do little gathers, both sides of the neckline. Both sides of the neckline. That is a really, really pretty detail, mm. isn't it, around? And it creates this nice, so it's nice and relaxed fit. Great. You, you don't have to worry too much about. And in, that, in those um, prints, I mean, in this one right here, this is lovely and smart. You could wear that to work. You could wear that for an interview. My goodness, that looks lovely. Love the detail of that fine red belt as well. Really pretty detail. Model that's, zone. Yep, yeah, model zone. Model zone. Smile dumbbell model zone. But that's what's zone. nice about giving it to, it's nice demonstrating it, but to be able to give it to my, my neighbour, Laura, yeah. to be able to say, how would you wear this? Yeah, absolutely. And what would you put with it? See, I've got to say, I love the way it's been styled on the front of the package as Which well. Which is completely that is different. very boho, worn with, I think these look like, um, it's kind of like socks and boots, isn't it? Or even like a cowboy boot type thing. Um, it's a really lovely kind of boho look. Or dressed up there by Laura in those lovely neutral heels. Very nice, love that. Love that. Love a neutral heel. I love a neutral heel. Lengthens the leg, darling. Lengthens the leg. It does. I've never heard of one until Strictly, and then they wear them for nearly everything, don't they? They do, they do. I remember watching Strictly to start with thinking, why don't they have red heels to match the red dress? But of course it draws too much attention to the feet, doesn't it? Which might be uh, shabby. Neutral. If the footwork's not good. I'm very lucky, actually. Every year I get to work with Vicky Gill. We, oh, do um, you? Yeah, we judge British Dressmaker of the Year together oh. every year. And um, I'm always asking her for gossip and backstage stories. And, and does she give you she any? She tells me a little. She's very discreet, though. She's very discreet. She doesn't name names, but she tells me little. Just enough. Just enough to satisfy me, so I'll leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> but Vicky is amazing. And the costumes are just terrific, aren't they? I mean, that's a hell of a gig, isn't it? It I is mean, a hell of a gig. So many different dresses to make that may actually not make it on air anyway. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And lots of the dresses that are created for the um, professional, uh, sorry, the, the um, stars, celebrities, if they don't get through, they end up being adapted or remodelled and they're worn by the professional dancers later on. Oh, are they? Yeah, so they, nothing gets wasted. BBC budgets. They get adapted, modified, or, I just want to take them all home. I'd want to take the costumes home. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's my, oh, goodness me, it's my dream, you know, to sweep the stage I, of Strictly. I have sat there Googling fabrics and I see like a blazer mm. in, or, or something they've made. I think, I love that fabric. I'm there while I'm watching it, trying mm. to find it. Mm. Just lovely. Very inspiring. And talking of inspiring, Mark, I'm loving what you're doing. Now, you have another demo with the sleeves. That was slick, wasn't it? Oh, that was slick. Second day here. Second day, you see. Just saying. Lovely sleeves. Self praise on this. is no praise. So <laughs> <laughs> Words to live by. Don't forget that lovely panel that we had in the earlier show. You can still order it. Go on the website www.sewingstreet.com. Sleeves. <laughs> you sleeves. Do, you do make me titter. Sleeves. Uh, beautiful sleeves on this. Now I went a minusculely amount 
are off the instructions on this, but I'll show you what I've done, but I, I think it gives a nicer effect. So I've, I have finished this sleeve already. And what I've done is I've just done little, uh, little tucks around the edge, which is what's on the pattern. But what the pattern wants you to do is to do a full dart, like on the front. Okay, about one full dart. Uh, well, four of them actually. Okay. Uh, about uh, I haven't got the right page in front of me. About a couple of centimeters, about th maybe three or four long. But what all I've done is just gathered it in the seam allowance there, and then it just lets that fabric sit there and do whatever it likes. Right. So rather than pressing the the, the pleat right out into the sleeve, yes, it, you've just made it quite short. Really short, so you don't actually see it beyond the seam line. Right. At all. It's more uh, relaxed, isn't it? I think so. If you wanted a more formal look, crisper look, maybe if you're making this for, as a work dress. Because this is a workhorse, this, this pattern, isn't it? The, I can think of so many different ways that you could style and wear this dress and make it in different. So sometimes you want, might want that lovely, soft, relaxed look that Mark's doing there with just very sort of short pleats that don't extend into the sleeve. You might want a much more structured and formal look, in which case you could follow the pattern. Very nice. Now I've put little, just for the sake of today, little notches where I want to do these. You might just want to draw it on with a friction pen. So I'm just going to mark the, I'm just going to pin these into place. And then I'll push them into the right direction and sew them in. Now there's four of the little perishers. Got a nice question mark while you're pinning oh, there, just mark. to have a little think. Hi chaps, we've gone from boys to chaps. I like chaps. Hi chaps, I love chaps. Ball pattern and fabric, can't wait to start. Which fabric did you buy, Maureen? I want to know which colour you went for. Um, I have fat wing arms due to weight loss. How would you adjust the sleeves to fit? That is such a brilliant question, Maureen, because sometimes we do need to adapt patterns to suit our body shapes um, and you want to adapt the pattern to suit your body. That means perhaps a longer sleeve. It could be How a would longer you do sleeve. That? This has little cap sleeves on it, and it does have a cuff that sits on the bottom as well. So depending on uh, on your own personal body shape, that yep. may be enough to to cover what you wanted to cover. Otherwise, you could extend this sleeve length down. Yes, you could, because it's quite a straight sleeve, isn't it? It's not tapering too much. You'd have to be careful extending it too much because it's tapering in a little bit and you don't want it to make it too tight. So perhaps where the sleeve is tapering in, you could straighten it out a little. Yeah, or you could do a bell sleeve, like a lamb chop kind of kind of thing if you wanted, Ooh. which would be nice and loose and flowy. You could take a sleeve Ooh. from another pattern. If yes. there's another pattern in the similar kind of size, you could mix and match it if it, if it fits in with the arm size. So Mark, just go back to the sleeve that you've got there. I wonder if we can just have a look and just kind of trace with your fingers. When you talk about a bell sleeve, where the, where the sleeve sits now, kind of if you trace down and then show us where the line would go. Because well, you just place your pattern piece on some tissue paper. Hang on. So this is your... Uh, this We're is designing live on air. I say we, it's Mark. That would be roughly your sleeve. Yep. As it is now. But a bell sleeve will kick out, sort of, it will spread out towards, oh, towards look at the that. bottom. Yes. You could, you could extend it uh, even more than that if you wanted, depending yep. on, on how much fabric you wanted. And then you'll you put a, a gathering stitch along the bottom there and you'll pop it into a a cuff of some kind. Got you. So you could still use the cuff that comes with the pattern, yeah. but extend the sleeve and then gather it in. And again, Maureen, you would just use that same method that Mark used. Longest stitch on your sewing machine, stitch within the seam allowance along the bottom of that bell sleeve, and then gather it in to the cuff. What a brilliant suggestion, Mark. I love that. I love the, that. Well, there is a... If you had a regular sleeve mm -hmm. like that, you could then cut slashes mm. along oh. there and then when you spread it out yeah that creates a bell sleeve amazing and no, cut up your original Thanks maybe for trace the question, one off. Maureen that's brilliant I hope that helps try it out on some scrap fabric first get some calico get some plain fabric what loads of different plain fabric get a bed any sheet. color use a bed sheet this is a bed sheet 
Is it? You it wear it well. <laughs> My Auntie Rena's. She was livid. <laughs> I'm wearing Auntie Rena's bed sheets. She was still in the bed at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right, Mark, keep going. Yes, so keep going. Sleeve. Where did I get to? So have I pinned them all in while I was... While we were, yes, there we go. So I've pinned them all in. So let's... I'm going to fold them over to one side. So I'm going to face mine... Did I do these towards the centre? I can't remember now. I was just going to ask you that. Just sort of... It's an excellent question. Angle them in. Whatever. Do you know, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, always. But whatever you do, just make sure... Everything looks the same. Yes, I've, yeah, I've, be consistent. I've just pointed mine towards the centre. And I'm doing this within the seam allowance. So I'm doing it on one centimetre just so it won't be seen. And if it does show, you could just unpick this little bit. Absolutely. I've got some messages about our, our show at 12 o'clock with um, ladies from the WI. Morning, oh, yes. Stuart. Look forward to seeing the WI panel later. I've been a WI member for over 40 years. I'm the president of our local one at the moment. That's from Kate Potts. I'm a WI member too. Fab. Really looking forward to having a chat about the WI. Got so many lovely messages. Carol says, good morning all. Good morning to you too. Hope you're having a great day. Linda's also messaged, morning everyone, and a couple of kisses. That's one for me and one for you, I think, Mark. Oh, I should hope so. Oh, possibly both for you. Possibly for our wonderful Bella tea dress from Liberty. Now, if you're inspired by Mark's demos or the model of the dress that we've got there, and you want to get your own pattern, you can. It's the Bella tea dress, 1749. Now, the main picture that we've got there is for sizes 8 to 40. It's actually 6, 6 to 14. We've even got a smaller size, 6 to 14. Okay, so that's the smaller sizes. And then we've also got the option for 14 to 22. Of course, if you want to adapt it, you can. The thing to do is dressmaker's tissue paper, plain fabric, draft, add to. I always think it's much easier to hack a pattern that already exists to make small changes mm. to an, an existing pattern than to actually start from scratch. So if you've got ambitions to design and make your own clothes and you want to know where to start, my personal recognition, I don't know what you think, Mark, would be to start by trying to hack a pattern that already exists. And there's lots of options here. Yeah, you, you don't need to... Uh remake the wheel no no you don't no you don't and this dress it can be styled in so many different ways little subtle details that you can add a little change at the neckline there's um there's can you do it without the collar yes you can make the dress without the collar it does have an option there it just has a tie a little built-in uh, like a shoestring tie uh, but there's no reason why you could leave, you could leave that off and yep. just have a ruler loop and a button or, or nothing on there at all nothing or at you all. could make swap the little uh, tie out for some a bigger tie like like something like I'm like a big like, bow a, a yes big pussy bow. big bow and we know how Esme loves a big bow she does she does love a big bow it can't be big enough I got it told off really, not having a big enough bow did you yeah you but knew Mark you knew what Esme wanted you knew she liked big bows. but it was 80s a week and I was using a genuine 80s pattern so that was the size of the bow on the yeah on the pattern there you are. so there you like are. there is a, one more little trick on this sleeve we have a little pleat just at the bottom. Now, it's probably not showing it very well. If I show you on the back, you, you can just see it there. Air is a simple, just like the others. I've marked mine with little notches there so I can't lose it on air. And oh, just... Maureen's message back in to say, thanks for the advice, Reese Sleeves. I bought the blue fabric. Good choice. Oh, fab. It's going to look lovely. I've just popped a pin in, and where that pleat is, it does tell you on the instructions how far to sew, but... To be honest, I don't think it matters too much. I'm just going to do a couple of centimetres. Just to hold it in place? Just to hold it in place, yeah. Those fabric bundles I showed you at the start have gone, I'm afraid. You've really loved those. We have got some of the Liberty fabric available. Remember we had those three options, the Midnight Ink, uh, the Light Blue and the Dusky Lilac. We've still got those available. Have a look on the website. Remember, you're ordering this by the half metre. It will come in a continuous piece. So if you want three and a half metres, order seven units. Still available. And that's Liberty. Gorgeous. 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 
I do love blue. I'm a blue boy. I love blue. I like blue. I think I probably 80% of my clothes are blue. Yes, it's easy to keep wearing the same colour, the block colour. Mm. Mm. My, um, my brother-in-law's Irish and his, so his parents and he live in Ireland mm -hmm. and my mum was uh, found it completely amusing that they turned up in head to toe block green. Oh, <laughs> fabulous, good, <laughs> excellent, Kelly Green, great. Yes. Well I remember hearing years ago Betty Jackson, fashion designer, only wears navy blue. Really? Everything in her wardrobe, so should, whatever I pull out of the wardrobe always goes together. I, little, I'm going to name drop now. Sandra Rhodes, I did a photo shoot with her once. Just pick that one up, it's around here somewhere. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, we were doing a, a photo shoot together and um, she said to me, uh, bedroom's in there, wardrobe, go and have a look, pick me an outfit. Oh blimey. Did you pick what, pick what you think will go with me, with, with, with what you're wearing. So I was there in Sandra Rhodes' bedroom going through her wardrobes and I'm looking at these iconic outfits, it was amazing. While Sandra was in the bathroom doing her makeup. And what did she think of we were your choice? I think she was happy enough, she wore it. She didn't say no, darling, I'm not wearing no. that. No, no. Just amazing. The most incredible role model I think I've ever met in, in our industry. She's just amazing. So incredibly driven and hardworking and no job is too menial uh, or, you know, she'll just get stuck in. She's such an inspiration. Love Sandra Rhodes. Well, Esme, talking of inspirations, was making dresses for herself in her dressing room while we were upstairs uh, under the cloche. With That's the walking the walk, isn't it? Yes. That really is, yeah. walking the walk. And then walk. she was wearing them later on in the series. I love it. It's fab. I love it. Um, the sleeves have a little cuff that goes on the bottom. So, I've just, so on this particular make, you'll quite often with you put these in in the flat. This one goes on on the round. So you'll make your sleeve completely and then you'll pop it in. So you need to pin it in the round when you what pop it. What size are you making there, Mark? What size? Uh, 14. This is the 14, mm. okay. Which so you can see there where you could adapt that sleeve to make it a little fuller, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, and you could gather that if you wanted to. You could make that wider at this point and gather it in. Yeah. If yeah. you wanted to, to do that. There's so many different hacks you could do that. Great. Um, this dress pattern does come with instructions for lining it as well. We've got lining oh, fabrics. Okay, and we've got dress linings actually available. Um, have a look on the website. Okay, we've got linings. We'll do them at the end of the show. Okay. Now, Mark, are you going to sew that cuff on? I can sew the cuff on. Now, you when I did to, mine, I did it very simply. You can do a fancier method, but if you just wanted to do it quickly, mm. let's just press this seam so it looks nice and flat, first of all, because it's, pressing will really make, if you're new to dressmaking, make such a massive difference to your project. Yeah, press at every stage. Because if you try and think, oh, I'll do that later, mm. you probably can't, or you, no. can't, you can't get into the bits that you need to get into. Because Absolutely. Because it's gone. So raw edges to raw edges. That's it. and. Uh, Seam, so I'm going to put the seam of the cuff. This is just, I should show you what I've done here. Uh, just a, a, this is cut on the on the bias, so that it does have a little bit of stretch oh, there. That's good. Um, I've just f sewn it down there, and then you just fold it in half and press it, and that's all the cuff is. Now, a simple way to do it, if you've got an overlocker, this would be a lovely way. Where's my pins gone? Um, I've matched the seam of the cuff up to the seam of the sleeve and just ease that in, make sure it's nice and even all the way round mm -hmm. and just lots of pins and if you follow the seam allowances it should just sit nicely. So they should be the same size? They should be the same size, this one is luckily. Great. Um, if you luck. haven't, you That's may have skill. not followed your seam allowance properly, but it doesn't matter. You can, there's a bit of give on this yeah. cuff. You can always just kind of ease it in. That would do, I think. Superb. And I've taken, I've already taken off the shelf on my machine. Yep, so and we've got the free arm exposed. This is where that free arm on your machine is so, so useful. Hey, look at that, eh? Slide it on. Slide it on. It's just the right size as well. Great. Which is where kids' clothes can get fiddly because you can't always 
get into the no, bits you need to you get into. No, when you look at vintage sewing machines, the free arm is much narrower if they have one. It's much narrower usually. Do you use vintage machines? I have done, I don't. Yeah. No, actually the machine I'm using at the moment for an awful lot of my sewing is the Elna 680 Plus, which has just come back in stock has yesterday. It? I didn't even plan that. We got that. very <laughs> excited. <laughs> we got very excited. It's a fabulous machine. The Elna 680 Plus. Have a look on the website. It's our bestseller. My aunt Irene, the same lady whose bed sheets I, okay. I, I covered, covered very much. She had a, a singer, of course, uh, which was had been electrified sometime in the 50s or 60s. Okay. And uh, she hadn't used it for years. And we just plugged it in. Off it went. Wow. They are amazing, aren't they? I remember a lady once bringing a singer featherweight um, to a, driven by a, a band, a rubber band, <laughs> um, <laughs> to, <laughs> to a class on free motion machine quilting. And I thought, oh gosh, this is going to be interesting. My goodness me, the quality of the stitch was incredible. There's a Everybody wanted it. There's a tailor I know who only uses, for most of his work, the straight stitch stuff, a vintage... Yeah. Singer, yeah, um, he Beautiful. uses modern ones for more complex, yeah, tasks. absolutely. They'll only do a straight stitch, so if you want things like overlocking and fancy Zigzagging, stitches, holes. yeah, this is not quite how the structures are saying, but if you want a nice quick method to do this, yes, uh, and you've got an overlocker as well, you could just overlock that inside seam and then, and then just, it just press it out. And if you haven't and got an overlocker cut. mark, is there a way you can achieve something similar on a domestic sewing machine? You can use a zigzag stitch. You could just use pinking shears if you wish. Yep. Some machines like this one will do an overcasting stitch as well. Right. You need a special foot for that. Yes. Um, it is a bit slow to go through, so you have to take your time. It won't whiz it out like, a, no, like, an, like overlocker. an overlocker. But it, you, that's another option. It's a good option. And that's a nice quick method. That looked very easy. That's you good, made that look very easy. Oh. Was it very easy? It was very easy. Yeah, great. I think this is a very achievable dress. Very I was surprised achievable. how quickly it came together, actually. And if you don't want to use a zip, we've, we've um, used a zip, Mark's used a zip in his example, but if you don't want to put that zip, there is an option with poppers, press studs. Press studs, poppers, as my mum would always call yep. them. Yeah, it's, uh, it uses eight poppers. I think we did have, well, I don't know whether we had them, I was sent some anyway, uh, which I, I used that. Where is the dress? Oh, it's behind you. It's right behind me. It's behind there. So I just right popped them me. down one side. I thought, why not? Let's try it with the Prestas and just see how it looks. And it worked. Um, it's on the other side. It's on the it's other side. It's not that invisible. <laughs> ah, they're right here. Yes, look. There they are. So there we go. Look, you've got press studs down the side. And you'll put a piece of, it recommends a piece of bias binding on one side, but you can make your own bias binding, of course. If you have a bias binding uh, machine, a uh, little thingy, then you can uh, do it that way. Um, or you could just get a piece of contrasting bias or yep. matching bias binding. And on the other side, you just use a strip of fabric just to create the, uh, the, um, the, I want to say the fly guard, but what's that? It, um, I'm not sure what you'd call that. I'm, but I'm it's a nice, neat way of doing it, isn't I've it? I've lost the words. We've lost the words. I've lost the way. words. The extension, they called it. That's what they called it. They called it an extension. Now, we've got those snap fasteners. 249 for a pack of 12. You'll need eight of them. So that's a really cost-effective way and a different way. Mm. Nice Anything else you wanted it? to mention, Mark, I mean, before I, we go? I did the press studs because I thought, it's like, well, I've got to do a zip. And I thought, well, let's do the press studs because I want to see how this came together. Yeah, yeah. And, and I it still it, holds them really neatly. Yeah, I mean, I only put three on that for this demonstration, but you put more in and you won't see, you won't be uh, exposing anything you don't Perfect. want. Perfect, no, exactly. Any pearls of wisdom to leave with us, leave us with? Um, it's... A really lovely one, really lovely for hacking, and it'll come together a lot quicker than you're imagining. Mm. I, I think you'll you'll, you'll enjoy it. Make it in a weekend. I, absolutely. Make and it this weekend. Wear it next weekend. You could go out in the sunshine. Oh. Have a glass of champagne with some. Someone put some cordial in their champagne. They put elderflower. Oh, in. yummy! Does that, that sounds that nice? delicious. I think it sounds lovely. It's definitely right up my street. I said, my sewing street. Thank you, Mark. You've been amazing. We'll see you in an hour. I'll be back. Great. Me too. And I hope you will be too. 
Thanks for that. Course, it's that. going to be a quiet hour, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just recap our patterns that we've got. We've got the 6 to 14, that's the smaller sizes. Use that code for the Liberty Ladies Bella Tea Dress pattern. It's a 6 to a 14, okay, so if you're really petite, this dress will cover you 6 to 14, okay? And then we've also got the 14 up to a 22, okay? So if you're somewhere between a 12 and a 14, I would go up and get the 14 to 22. Beautiful, lots of different options and perfect for hacking as Mark told us just then. Gorgeous dress that. Lots of you have it in your baskets. Don't forget to check out. It's not yours till you have. Now, lining fabrics. That's a catchphrase, isn't it? It really is. It's a catchphrase. We've got lining fabrics. If you want <coughs> to line your uh, tea dress, you can. Now we've got navy. This would work really, really well um, for lining. By the half metre, 149 a half metre. And it adds a really professional finish. It's 100% polyester, standard width, 56 inches wide. I think that makes it 54, 56. So that's the navy blue. The silver is rather gorgeous. Same thing, 100% polyester. You can use this to line your, fa your dress. I like keeping linings, just having them in, in stock anyways. Yeah, uh, linings are a really good thing to have in stock. I think that's a great point, Mark. And then finally, we've got the nude. Nude? Oh, camel. <laughs> you just wanted me to say nude. <laughs> Goodness me. That'll be on the Christmas show reel, won't it? I'd call that American tan. <laughs> American tan. It's lovely though, isn't it? So, yeah, really nice. Now make sure you check out on everything. Don't leave it in your basket. Just sit in there. Check out. And don't forget, of course, it doesn't matter how many times you check out. You'll only pay one P&P. So don't not check out because you think you're going to have to pay another P&P later on if there's something else you fancy. And we have, of course, got Delphine Brooks coming up later as well with her wonderful new pattern. Um, and we've also got the ladies from the WI in that exclusive panel coming up at 12. So you might want to buy something later on, but it doesn't matter. You can check out now. Check out your patterns. Check out your fabrics and your linings. Have a look on the website, see what appeals to you, what inspires you. Remember we've got the fantastic Elna 680 Plus back in stock. You may have been waiting for that. Also, uh, you might want to take advantage of our wonderful uh, early birds. We've got those wonderful three panels, great for spring, great for practicing your quilting, and the Moda 10 Fat Quarter mystery bags. Um, lots to look at on the website. Have a look and we'll see you after this break. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. 
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Welcome back to Sewing Streets. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Stuart Hillard. It's wonderful to see you. And it is finally time to launch Delphine Brooks' new pattern. It's brand new. It is absolutely amazing. I stood in front of it for about 10 minutes just saying, wow, wow. That is, wow. It's just incredible. It's an adaptation of one of Delphine's previous patterns taken to a whole new level. Absolutely stunning. Now she's done it with some brand new mode of fabric and I think it's important to in, uh, bring you straight in with that mega bundle because this fabric is selling extremely quickly and I don't want you to miss out. Okay, so the fabric is called Fanciful Forest and it's a mega bundle. It is incredible you're getting nine and a half meters here this just makes my heart sing you're actually getting half a meter free you're getting nine and a half meters so you're only paying for nine of them now we're not selling these by the half meter at the moment the only way that you can buy these fabrics is in the bundles that we've got we've got this mega bundle which includes 19 different fabrics amazing saturated colours. Comes in three broad colourways and I say broad colourways because you can see already that there are so many different tones and colours within these fabrics. They're incredible but broadly they come in pink, blue and green. So a beautiful, beautiful palette there but of course they've brought in loads of other colours. There's this gorgeous kind of blackberry, 
plum color, some deep reds and golds, got some beautiful golden yellows. I mean, these are painterly, I mean, just incredible. That's beautiful. Just amazing different fabrics. I think they deserve looking through almost one by one. We've grouped them into their designs actually. So this, this one that's got trees on, um, which I just think is stunning, blue, green, and pink. And then this wonderful, I'm gonna open this out just so you can see exactly how amazing this is. They're trees, but they almost have a cloud-like look as well. I mean, that is something else. That is something else, look at that. Moda bring so much to the table, don't they? Whether you like reproduction fabrics, florals, gentle pastels, brights, moderns, batiks, Moda really do. They outdo themselves every time and I'm stunned by this range. Fanciful Forest, I think it's incredible. Gosh. I'm sure Delphine was incredibly inspired by this. I can see that she was. Think about what you could do with nine and a half meters of fabric. I mean, it's just amazing. Here's that, this is the, the um, green colorway. Just stunning. You've got this wonderful, almost like kind of orchard print, which is really lush. Love that blue, it's so fresh. Nice range of different sizes too. So you've got those really large scale prints with the trees on, and then you've got medium and small. Now this is a super useful, I'm gonna clear a little bit of space because I wanna show you these together. You've got some really beautiful, I mean, I dare to say blender. It's really a special fabric on its own, but those are beautiful, green, blue, and pink. Look at the tones in that fabric there. You're getting half a meter of this, half for a meter of each one, nine and a half meters in total, but you're only paying for nine of them. Half a meter is free. The price there is 134.82 for that mega bundle. And it is huge, absolutely huge bundle. Now you can get two split pays on this, 67.41, that's all you need to pay today, plus your PMP if this is the first thing that you're buying today, and we'll get this out to you. Think about all the different amazing projects you could make. This could be a complete room makeover. This isn't just one quilt, is it? There's loads more bags, cushions, wall hangings. I'm all about bags at the moment. <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with bags. And then you've got some other, again, an incredible blender fabric, but so much more than a solid or just a normal tone on tone. That's just wild. Oh, I'm desperate to ask Delphine what she thinks about these. We'll talk about the fabrics. I even love the selvedge. <laughs> Little things. Look how cute that is. Little fanciful forest of trees running down the sides. Some of us like to keep our selvedges, make them into little purses and projects. That is beautiful. That's just incredible. It almost looks hand painted. Lots of different tones, depending on where you cut your fabric, to create some real interest. All included in the Mega Bundle. Pink, green, and blue colorways in that design. And then a few more. This is a great one, just in the pink and the blue this time. This is our director's favorite. What do you like about it? Kind of little lollipops almost, aren't they? Hot air balloons, sweeties. What are you seeing? I love that about abstract fabrics. You see, different people see different things. It's like looking up into the sky, isn't it, and seeing clouds. Some of us see a face, some of us see an animal. This is a gorgeous, wow, wow. That's just incredible. I think I could gaze at these fabrics for days and see different things and be inspired. Look at that. I think it's upside down, to be honest, but I'm going to turn it around. It's hard to say, isn't it, sometimes, whether a fabric's directional or not. I mean, it depends how you want to use it. But that is absolutely stunning. And then in this, I mean, this is Mermaid's Tales, isn't it? That is a Mermaid's Tale. 
This is the Mega Bundle, nine and a half metres of Moda fanciful forest, 19 different fabrics, half a metre of each. Remember, there are no options at the moment for buying this by the half metre. If you've fallen in love with fanciful forest, and remember it's brand new today, this is how to get the whole collection, or any of the collection really. I've got three smaller bundles, colour bundles, coming right up. I'll show you those next. That is amazing. That is amazing. I can't fold these fabrics. I don't want to fold them. I just want to keep them out looking at them. Right, let's have a little look. That's the mega bundle, Delish. Now, if you want a smaller bundle, we can do a smaller bundle. We'll start with pink because this is the one which is absolutely flying at the moment. We've got single figures of this one. You've already been pre-ordering. Now you're getting two and a half meters of this brand new collection all those pinks, but you're also, and I think this is the most importantly, you're getting Delphine's pattern for the Dresden dress collection. About a metre of white or so, metre, metre and a half of white, whatever background you'd like to add in to use with Delphine's brand new pattern. Fantastic. You can't buy this pattern on its own, by the way. The only way you can get this pattern is, oh, Delphine, I love the pattern too. That is amazing. Full size templates. And the previous pattern instructions are all there as well. Wow, there's a lot there. There is a lot there. Two patterns for the price of one. Superb, love it. So this is the pink option, but please be quick with that because that is gonna sell out first, I think. Two and a half meters of fabric, this brand new collection, plus Delphine's wonderful pattern, $46.99, be quick. And you could be making this. Wow, wow. Now, there are only six of these bundles available and there are 17 of you with this currently in your basket. You're not all gonna get it. So check out quickly. If you check out, it's yours. I've got two other colourways though, which I think are going to appeal to you. Let's start with blue. I think this is the one that Delphine's going to be demonstrating with. This is the blue bundle. And again, you've got those same fabrics. Oh, these are just stunning. They glow, don't they? They absolutely glow. It's like they're lit from behind. So many different tonal variations. So you're getting five half metres of the brand new collection from Moda, brand new here today, and you're also getting the exclusive launch pattern Dresden Dress Collection from our most loved Delphine Brooks. Such a popular designer. Incredible, incredible designs here. I was absolutely blown away, genuinely. I was blown away by the quilt as soon as, as, soon as it was hung. It's stunning. And every block is different. You'll see in a minute. I mean, you could really do this as almost your very own block of the month. You could spend one month doing one block, really take your time, really enjoy the process. You could team up with friends, buy the pattern, buy the fabric collection, choose your colours. Maybe you're a blue person, maybe friends are pink, more into green, and then create your blocks together. We're all getting back together for our sewing, aren't we? It's the bit I've missed most, sewing with friends. And then you could make this quilt together and compare your dresses, your blocks, your Dresden dresses. Think about the background colour too. Delphine's used white, which really makes the, for me, it makes it look like illustrations from a fashion journal, yeah? Or a designer's fashion book on white, because it's like they've been drawn and created on paper, and then someone's gone in there with a paintbrush and beautiful inks and coloured those designs in to bring them to life. But you could put these on a darker background. We'll talk to Delphine about how you might create that. Now our final option, our final colourway, is the green. This is yummy. I say green, <laughs> but of course then we've got fabrics that have pinks and oranges and blues mixed in and a good bit of green as well, of course, to tie it all together. Really stunning, stunning, stunning fabrics, these. That is beautiful. 
And of course, this is the only way that you can get your hands on Delphine's brand new pattern, the Dresden Dress Collection, exclusively in this bundle. Lovely message from Jan. This is gorgeous. Jan, you couldn't say it any better. It is absolutely gorgeous. The combination, sometimes you get a, a, a mix of the perfect idea, the perfect fabric just come together and it's like, wow, okay, I need that. Now Delphine's gonna be using the 680, the Elna 680 Plus sewing machine which is brand new, back in stock. Um, we've been waiting a very long time for this machine to come back in stock. Uh, well over half of the stock has already gone um, and it only launched yesterday morning, the, re the uh, restock. Um, came in and, and many, many of you uh, got yourself the machine yesterday. Many more of you are buying it today. We understand it's a considered purchase. It is available on split pay. We've never done five split pays before. Four's always been the maximum. But for this machine, we've done five split pays. So all you'll pay, 219 pounds and 80 pence, and your postage if it's the first thing you've bought today, and you can get that 680 plus direct from Elna. Now, so let's just, for a moment, if you were to buy Delphine's wonderful new pattern, Dresden Dress, and the fabric pack, that would come from us and that will come in one package. The Elna is going to come direct from Elna. So don't worry if you get them in two separate parcels, okay? You're still getting both. You might get your sewing machine first. What I would recommend to everybody actually, um, you're going to get the fantastic manual that comes with your machine, but you can also go to the Elna website and download the manual. Have a read through it. If you're wondering whether this is the right machine for you, download the manual, have a read through, see whether the functionality that the Elner offers is right for you for now and in the future, and then make your decision. Also, if you've already ordered the machine and you want to get ahead so that when the machine arrives, you can just hit the ground running, download the instructions, download the manual, and have a read so that as soon as the machine arrives, you can start on your quilt. Delphine uses the Elna 680 every time she comes in. Nice and easy to use this one. Intuitive and fantastic for free motion quilting because you've got three different options of darning foot. You've got a closed foot, an open foot, and you've also got a clear foot. And then you've got an extra what I call a big foot, kind of like a bullseye, big flat foot, that's brilliant for holding down your fabric while you're free motion quilting. So lots of options there. Now, this price is only valid until the end of the month. Officially, we're supposed to be charging more for this machine. Um, we negotiated with Elna to offer you this reduced price. We've looked elsewhere. One, two, four, nine and out of stock actually, <laughs> even at that price. Here are some examples. Yeah, there we go. 1,249 pounds, same machine, and it's out of stock. But you could get it for 1,099 pounds from us, and you're getting a two-year warranty. Fantastic peace of mind, but be quick. We thought this stock would last us until Christmas. We've already sold well over half of it. It's not gonna be around for very long, Maybe not even the rest of the week. Who knows? <laughs> now then, I think it's time we met Delphine. Delphine, I feel honoured to meet you because <laughs> I've heard so much about you. I've seen so much of your wonderful work. Welcome to Sewing Street. Oh, Welcome back. Thank you. Likewise as well. You know, oh, it's lovely to meet you, finally. Fabulous, fabulous. Well, I've seen your designs everywhere and they are such a fan favourite. I mean, oh. we love your work <laughs> and you really bring art quilting and, and really sort of out of the box quilting into the reach of all of us. I don't consider, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't have an artistic bone in my body really, but you bring that into, into reach, don't you? Well, uh, yeah, it's what, what I've always wanted to do. Is, uh, we were having a brief chat earlier on, you know, bringing the art and the textiles together. That's what I've always wanted to do. And I'm really lucky that I get to, you know, to share my designs with other people. That's the best thing. I think we're the yeah. lucky ones. Very. I think no, we're no, the lucky no. ones. <laughs> Tell us about your background, Delphine. You have an art textiles background, don't you? Yes, yeah. Uh, well, I've been able to draw 
well, I've always loved drawing whenever since I was a little girl. So uh -huh. drawing for me was more, I'd rather always have, uh, you know, some crayons or some pens or whatever, rather than my, my little ponies or whatever when I was okay. there. And, uh, and then obviously school, uh, college, I went and did my A-levels and then I went and did my art foundation. And uh, as probably if you've seen the advert, you've seen everything most people know about the military and the police and stuff. But uh -huh. uh, but no, back when I did it, um, when I was at college doing uh, fashion textiles, this is what's actually inspired this design, actually, with the fashion models. So again, I really wanted, I was really into the textiles and making the clothes. But it was to me, it was more about the fabrics. And yes. I'd rather do the painting and the drawing on the fabrics and then make the clothes. Mm. But when we were doing um, uh, the, uh, our, our exams, we had to do a uh, case study, and I did mine on John Galliano, the fashion designer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, and I had to learn how to do all the, how to draw the fashion models, and that's why what's came up with this idea. And that's today. exactly what you've reproduced in mm. quilt form, isn't it? You know, I, I, I at first looked, at, do we need to be able to draw these models? Do we need to be able to do that? No, no, it's all in the pattern. Oh, I love that. I all love that when pattern. it's all in the pattern. Yeah, it's all just, in the pattern. Just trace it. In yeah. in Delphine's customary clear as crystal um, form, just brilliant. Oh my goodness! And also, um, we could we could use these bases and change them slightly. We could customize. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I've got no problem with that. At Do you all. want to make it your own? Yes, definitely. I'm all for the for the little hack, the little twist and change. Yeah. Delphine, would you talk us through the the quilt because I just think it's mesmerising and there's so <laughs> much to look. <laughs> well, I wanted to give you. Um, do you remember years years ago, back when I was little, you'd have those like cardboard cutouts of a um, paper dolls of the paper dolls, paper and you put dolls. all the different you'd put all the different clothes on it. Oh. That, this is the grown up version of that. It really yeah, is. It is. You just choose your clothes, and you can just put it on the model. So it's exactly that. It's just your paper dolls. So I've actually done seven different um, designs. Actually, there's seven dress patterns, but. Depending on how you mix them up, there's even more. So the actual oh, basic is seven. So you can add accessories or not, or there's loads of different ways oh. you can change it. And you know, yeah. I think this solves the, the that eternal problem, which I've talked with many quilters about. Is what do you make for the granddaughter or the daughter who is about 12, 13, mm. 15, that sort of difficult age, where you don't know whether they're into this or into that, or will they like, but, mm. I, that is just stunning. Well, well, that's it. You could do it for all ages. Because I've done like the big ball gowns. I've done some that have got a bit of attitude and a bit of sassy. Yeah. And you know, so you can you can change it and depend on what you put. With it, you know, I've got the the, the pretty tea dress, which I'll, again the the fabric inspired me for that definitely. And you know, the ones with the little bodice on, and you know, the ones showing her belly button a little bit. You can just. Yeah. You know, or you can just completely cover up and be very elegant, you know, or, you know, if you're going down to the beach, pop your sun hat on. There's lots Brilliant. of different ways to change the pattern. And there's options for embellishments as well, aren't there? Because yes. I could just imagine getting like little seed beads and creating almost like a little necklace once it's all yes. laid up and quilted. Yeah. Yeah. And then add the beads and add some jewellery or even like little little flowers, little flower yes, corsage. I, I did that on the, ah. on the cushion. I did some French knots. So she's holding yeah. some flowers on the cushion. And uh, some little beads in her hair. So. Sequins. Yeah, sequins. Oh, you could go mad. You could go crazy. I just think it's incredible. And the Dresden dress yes. collection. The Dresden dress Explain. collection. Well, because <laughs> every single uh, aspect of the um, pattern, apart from a few applique pieces, it's all made using Dresden, Dresden blades. So that, that one in particular that's on now, that's the whole dress is made from Dresden's. That's out of that's out of the box thinking, isn't it? But wow. it's all. But they're all different sizes. They're yep. all. Um, but I've given you all the templates for those, so you haven't got to worry about getting the ruler or anything like that, and worrying about the maths of it all. All you have to do is trace and cut it out. That's Amazing. it. Amazing. I'm so. blown away. I'm blown away. But listen, you must be quick if you want to go for one of the bundles. If you want. The amazing new pattern from Delphine Brooks. The pink is already sold out. I'm going to take that away. The blue is the second most popular. I know that's the one that Delphine's going to be demonstrating. We're just in the teens now. We're in the teens with that one. We're at that difficult age, that difficult number. Don't let the green pass you by. There are so many beautiful prints in there. I mean, just incredible. And of course, if you wanted to make a larger quilt or a pair of quilts, 
Maybe you've, uh, you know, older, younger kids in the family. Maybe you want to make a larger quilt and you want to mix the colours up. Maybe you want Delphine's pattern, but you've also got other plans for these fabrics. Multibuy, you can't get this pattern anywhere else. Exclusively in these bundles right now. So, two options left. Blue, proving the most popular right now, but anything could change. Very, very limited quantities. Delphine, where do we start? Right, well, to start with, you've got your pattern and you've got the four different blades, so uh, labelled A to D. So, obviously, this is a nice shiny booklet, so you might not want to actually um, cut these out. So, what you can do is just trace them over with a piece of paper and just cut them from those, which is what I've done here. I've just cut them out onto just a normal paper. That way you're not having to cut through your book. Like printer paper? Just anything, yeah. Bam. A bit of card, a bit of paper. That Laurie do. says, hi Delphine, your quilt looks good fun, really girly. Love the top you have on. We Aww. all love your top. <laughs> thank you very much. I wasn't sure, but no, thank you. Gorgeous. <laughs> so, and then what you're also going to need is, so what we'll do this bit first actually, just so I can um, show you what the models are so I've given you two different models so I quite like when I did my fashion models I didn't do them quite straight I like the ones with big busts and tiny waist big bum you know like curvy. So really curvy yes uh, so I've given you two different ones they're only a very so slightly different so this one uh, she's got a hand on a hip and uh, her hand out slightly. The reason why I've done that is so you can hold in umbrellas or bags or whatever. Awesome. Those hips don't lie. They don't, do they? <laughs> <laughs> and you might wonder what this is sticking out the side. That is just um, a, a, if, a different leg option if you wanted the leg just po poking out at the side. Gorgeous. So that's what that is. So, so if you think you get the pattern, you think, what on earth is that? It's just another leg. She hasn't got three legs, just choose another leg. And uh, this one here is just ever so slightly different, hands out. And Nick, bless him, he's even given her a little belly button there. So. Good old Nick. <laughs> yeah, so Thanks, he's even given her there. No facial features. Uh, you might wonder why, because when you do any type of fashion design or fashion model, it's all kept to a minimum because it's all about the clothes. So that's why everything else is quite plain. Great. So, but I noticed on um, I've given them your some lips. lipstick. Yeah, I've given them a few bit of lipstick with some yeah. pink thread. Bit yeah. of pink. Yeah, definitely. Makes us all feel better. It certainly does. <laughs> and and then I've given you also different options. So there's a bodice uh, that's also you might wonder what the, the little dotted line is because you could turn that piece into a say bra uh, or a bikini even. So you've got choices there. And also the original Dresden dress pattern that I did. Um, I can't remember when I did it now, uh, but so many of you really enjoyed it and also wanted it back. So I have actually included, um, it, it was this one here, the original dressed and dress pattern. I've even included that for you as well. Wow. So you've got about eight or nine different. Loads of options. Yeah. Pat's actually messaging to say, morning Delphine and Stuart. My daughter is now 50 and I've just made the Dresden dress court for her birthday. Oh. Happy birthday and made it slightly bigger. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Oh. So lots of lovely options there. That's great. Reminds me of dressing my Barbie doll when I was a kid. Me too. <laughs> there was a battle, wasn't there, between Cindy and Barbie. Which were you? Were you Cindy or Barbie? I was a Barbie. Were you? Yeah, I think I think so. But Cindy yeah. had a horse, didn't she? She had a horse box and jodhpurs and a proper hat. My, my, it was my... Um, middle but that my next sister up from me uh danielle it was she was the one that was more into dolls then uh, i told you, you i was there with my coloring books i wanted my crayons you yeah you wanted your crayons well it, it served you well delphine <laughs> it served you well it's brought us all of this inspiration and just fantastic stuff and really really moving quilting into a different space i think oh good that's what i'm trying to achieve <laughs> amazing amazing and I love the fact that there are so many options. So you've cut a strip of fabric there. So I've just cut a strip of fabric. Uh, so I've chosen, so it's all in the instructions of, of telling you exactly how to create each dress, you know, with what, that's why I've kept it really simple with just labelling them A to D. So you haven't got to worry about the sizes oh, no or waste measurements. there, just flip the template around. So. And seam allowance included. What all seam included. allowance do you use? Quarter of an inch. But again, it, um, if it's slightly out, it doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't really matter. We like that. We like forgiving. Nice there forgiving pattern. 
And, uh, let me see. and if you're a metric, seven mil? Mm, yeah, I usually say five or six, but yeah. Five or six, yeah. yeah. You, most sewing machines, the Elmer 680 Plus certainly, has a, a metric and an imperial option on it. Stitches five, six. So I've got my blades here. Oh, don't the fabrics, everyone looks different. Like, Every isn't blade that looks different. So what I'm going to do is very simply fold them right sides together on the thicker edge and I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch along that top there and I'll change chain stitch those so to save time. Lorraine says, morning Delphine, great to see you as always and a kiss. Aww, thank you. So many people watching. Now Delphine, when are you back? I'm on back on Tuesday. <gasps> Terrific. I know, I've, uh, oh, yeah, we're together, aren't we? We're together Yeah, again. I've got, so, again, some lovely projects on I'm going to still spend the whole hour fangirling so and I'll, boying. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do me prep for that this weekend when I get Ace, home. can you give us a tease? What are you bringing? Might be something to do with the tree. Might maybe. be. Might be. Might be. You're being a little coy there, Delphi. <laughs> you like that. It's been, um, it's one of those that is a, quite a bit of work, but it, Hopefully it'll be worth it. <laughs> Fab. Well, I'm going to look forward to that. And this is just ace. Love it. So chain piece together. Yeah, so I've just done those. Where's my scissors? Across the broad end. There we go. So I'll just trim those off. And what then... sort of level do you tend to aim your patterns at, Delphine? I tend to try and aim them at a beginner or between beginner and intermediate, only yeah. because I want it to be achievable for everybody. And it shouldn't be scary. It shouldn't be scary. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. Absolutely. Nice and approachable. And even if I find something that is difficult, I will find a way to try and make it easy. Great. Yeah. You know, by adding in more templates, more instructions. Um, you know, because I just think once something is explained and with a bit of practice, anyone can do it. Yeah. It's it, just having that yeah. confidence to, to just actually give it a go. You're there holding people's hands, aren't you? Yeah. You're guiding them through the process. Lovely message from Beverly. Morning, loving Delphine's ladies of fashion. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's great. I was a Cindy girl. But don't forget Tressy. You pushed her belly button and pulled out her ponytail. <laughs> I, I like the sound of Tressy. She sounds like she, fun. She does sound fun. <laughs> she does. That's brilliant. Oh, Beverly. It's lovely reminiscing about things like that, isn't it? The sort of toys that we used to play with. But it was it was literally the when I was doing this, it was the paper paper dolls. Paper dolls. Yeah. Did I you, you could it. buy them in the news agent, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Just fantastic. I love it. I love it. Um and just going back to what we were saying about sort of the level required, um, you know, I always say sometimes it's literally a well-written pattern. It's just about extra time for, yeah. a, for an absolute beginner to do it instead of an intermediate or a more yeah. advanced sewer. It might just take you a little bit longer. Well, that's the point. Take time. Enjoy it's, the process. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like just just by taking your time, reading the pattern before you go <laughs> straight in to do it. Always read the, uh, the instructions first. And, you know, and you can always have a try on a few test pieces first, yeah. you know, if you've got the fabric. Delphine, when you pulled the when you pushed the points out on yep. your on your blades, did you use anything to do that? No, you can use a pointy tool, which I recommend. I just use my scissors, but just be careful to not push too tight. Yeah. And then that you've got your little blade there. So I'm actually going to leave. Turn it, anything like that will do. Won't it? Yeah, yeah. So I've got my four blades all ready there. So I'm going to leave my pressing mat there actually, because I'm going to need it again in a second. So all I'm going to do now is sew these together by putting them right sides together and then sewing along that line and I'll do that until I've created the whole skirt so I'll quickly go and do that morning Stuart and Delphine this is Stephanie morning Stuart and Delphine I've ordered the pink kit Ooh, well done oh, well you done. got in there quick uh, this is going to be my first quilt fantastic I was a Barbie girl but also played for hours Dressing my paper doll. Yes. Oh, you're going to love this then. This is your first quilt. You're going to have great fun. I mean, what a, what a designer to pick. What a Aww. designer to pick. I've read through the pattern. It's brilliantly written. It is so uh, clear. You've got full-size templates, no scaling up. 
As Delphine said, do trace them off. Don't cut your pattern up. Yeah, trace them off. Lovely message from Jan in Lancashire. My paper dolls were free in bunty. Lots of different poses. I would make extra clothes by drawing around the shape and colouring in. Delphine, something tells me you did that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Brilliant, brilliant. I love, love hearing about people's experiences and it's fun to hear about people's childhoods as oh, well. Oh, it isn't is, it? yeah, because you, you think everyone's different. I just love it when we talk about all the same toys and you go, you know, like when yeah. you see on Facebook and things like that, and people put up, do you remember these, all these things from the 80s or 90s? And everyone's like sort of commenting on those. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What was your, what was your sort of favourite? Do you have a favourite decade? Oh, um, I love the eighties. The eighties. I I'd wish I was born in the sixties or a teenager Gee. in the sixties, seventies. Yeah, because I would have been really, you know, long hair, flowers in my hair. I would have had the flares. I would have, yeah. You'd have been a hippie. Yeah, yeah. You'd have been at Woodstock, <laughs> flowers in your hair. In I San would Francisco. be. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, definitely. All nice. the uh, the peace signs and the yeah. Oh yeah, I just all that peace and love. <laughs> All the peace and love. Yeah. <laughs> gorgeous though, gorgeous. Uh, yeah. My favourite decade, as I say, would have been the 80s. I, I look back very fondly on the 80s, you know. Um, I loved all of the, I mean, I had lots of hair <laughs> in all the right places. Uh, big hair, dyed hair, you know. Um, what uh, colour? Oh, all the colours. Oh, the really? Colors, yeah. so, so you were a bit as well then? Yeah, <laughs> I, I went through a phase where my favourite hair colour I ever had was pillar box red. Really? And it was That's brave. Pillbox. And it was quite long and I went into school and I was such a, you weren't allowed anything other than natural coloured hair, even though it was the 80s. Um, but because I was such a, I was a good boy at school, I wasn't any trouble. <laughs> I was kind of under the radar. And no, but I mean, you couldn't have missed me. I was like a pillar box walking down. <laughs> I, I, if I, I wish I was brave enough, but I do like it when you see people with a little bit of pink or blue in their hair. Do it. Maybe. Do maybe. it. I can... I could get away with it now, I think. Delphine, I imagine the tips of your hair, hot pink, hot match pink. the flames on your top. Yeah, it's got to be done. I don't think my husband messaging. would approve. <laughs> if you think Delphine should do that for Tuesday, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm crikey. kidding. You could so carry that off. That oh, would be know. ace. That would be ace. How are you getting on? It looks like you've so, romped ahead. So I've done the skirt. Oh, crikey. So all I've done there is you press your seams flat. The reason being because you don't want it to be bulky. And then you want the side seams, the raw edge, you want to just fold that in a quarter of an inch and give it a good press. If you've got any best press, I recommend that you do use that here because it keeps it nice and stiff and it stops the, um, the side, the raw edges coming open. But there you go, that's your skirt. Fab. So now, what we'll do now, so I've all, one, one I've done earlier, I've already cut out a few clothes. So this is where you're going to need your pattern and a friction pen. If you've right, so we're going to transfer some markings. Yeah, so I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose this one today. So if you've got a light box, great. So choose a um, your backing fabric. I can see through that. I know you can't see that at the moment, but I can see it. So what are you going if to do? If you were using something like a black background or a navy, any tips on transferring? Could you, you could use something like in, you could use an interfacing. Yeah, you could use an interface on the back and then maybe do it from the other way. Yeah. Do you know or, what I mean? Yeah. So or um, I was thinking maybe use something like um, dressmaker's transfer paper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you could do that and then put it, put it, put it off. Yeah. I've draw, done something draw like that before, you know. Off. What did I do that on? Oh, God, what did I do that on? Oh, I can't it'll remember come now. to you. 2 yeah, a.m. It'll come. Ring me. <laughs> Don't ring me. So this is one that I've already done earlier. So <gasps> the reason why... I'm putting it on the model is so I don't do any unnecessary sewing. So I'm, I've chosen my model and then it's, I'm going to use, I'll use it. I've got a dark one. I'll be back in a sec. Hold on. I'll use, I'll use that one. Oh, the green matches. So you're using a friction pen then? I'm yeah. using a friction pen and all you're going to do is trace the model where you will see. Oh. So but if I trace the whole thing, most of it is going to be covered up. And of you're not, it is. And then you're going to do all that sewing and you'll be really cross with yourself because you don't need to do 
Well, so any excuse to do a bit of extra sewing, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because this, you know, if you want to make loads of them, you want to sort of race ahead. Oh, and the models are so elegant. Look at the position of the hands and the simplicity of the line, but it's everything, isn't it? There Did go. take you absolutely ages to trial and error and experiment? Um, sometimes it does. This one wasn't, wasn't too bad. Like I said, I just went back to thinking when I used to have to do it at college. So, so Fabulous. It's and then great. That's where you can choose if you wanted to give her a hair, a head or a hat. I think I'm going to give this one a hat. If you want to get a head, get a hat. <laughs> <laughs> or if you then wanted the head, I've given you about three or four different heads and hairstyles that you just transfer it over and you can just trace. In fact, Ace. let's let's do let's do one of each. Let's do she can have some she can have a pretty hair. Yes. She so, shall have hair. She shall. Lovely have hair. message from Trisha. Morning both. I've bought the green kit. Love that green. I love the green. Love Delphine's demos. My paper dolls were in twinkle. That's from oh, Trisha yes. in Warwickshire. Everyone's really on board with the paper dolls. They are, yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> I'm you bringing it back, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> Becky says, Delphine Brooks, I have all peacock colours in my hair underneath. And John Scott said, the last time I was on set, was I going through a midlife crisis? Yep, uh -huh. I don't want to get old. Go for the colour, you'll love it. <laughs> That's brilliant from Becky. There you go. I'll have to... Oh yeah, Becky Alexander. Yes. <laughs> I was a teenager in the 60s. This is from Julia. I was a teenager in the 60s. Micro mini skirts, Kings Road and Carnaby Street. Those were the days. That is great. That is great. I love it. Okay, Message good. from Julie in Surrey. Hello, both. I too had a Tressie doll. Uh, I think that's what inspired my purple Mohican in the 70s. Ace. My grandsons find it hysterical. Now that as gra now now as grandma is very, it should be something else. Well, <laughs> you know we've all we all had our youth, didn't we? Well, yeah, and, we and certainly you did. Know, when you think, yeah, I used to have pillar box red hair. <laughs> I had short hair. Purple Mohicans. You had really short uh, hair. Uh, uh, it was one of those uh, home haircuts. My mum cut my hair and I had it cut really short <laughs> and everyone called me Del Boy. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I've no. had long hair since. <laughs> oh no. Mums always tell it like yeah. it is, don't they? <laughs> so oh what, gosh, Del Boy. So what I'm doing now, so what you'll do is choose a dark thread. I think black is a bit harsh, uh, unless you want to make that statement, you know. Uh, so go for a, a light thread. Mm -hmm. And you want to slow your machine down a little bit and you just want to take your time and trace over. Obviously, you'll take a bit more time than I am here because I've uh, missed. Is that just a normal line. straight stitch? Just a normal straight stitch. Also, you can uh, shorten the stitch slightly. Why? Why would shortening the straight? Um, the only stitch? because it, it, it's, you're going to be a bit more accurate. Great. So. Because yeah. um, there's lots of curvy lines there to get round. Yeah. On. So you can shorten it. And that's like a like a deep plum thread, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's nice. It's a nice. I said. I think having it in the in the. The black is a bit too, a bit too yeah. dark. You could use a grey. You could use a tan, even, couldn't you? Oh, I, although with me doing it in this, um, I, you know, I, the friction pen's actually in green, and I really like it in green. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green fabric, green, green outline. That works. You really get to experiment, don't you, when you create something like this? Yeah, you can just have fun, and because it doesn't take an awful lot of time, it doesn't matter if it doesn't work. Sure. Um, greens are in, down in their teens now, the green bundle. Very, very few blue available now. Four. Four blue left. Pink's all gone. Four of the blue. And we're down to teens in the green. So green's still an option. Gorgeous colours in there. Still lots of pinks, lots of blues mixed in with those greens. Green's my favourite colour. Really vibrant. It's beautiful, isn't oh, it? Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Don't forget as well, there's the Mega Bundle. If you've been really inspired by the fabrics and you'd like to go for the Mega Bundle, remember that's 19 different fabrics, half a metre of each. Fanciful Forest. You're getting half a metre for free. You're only paying for nine. It's 134.82. And that's the Mode of Fanciful Forest Mega Bundle. 
all the pinks, all the blues, all the greens. Gorgeous, gorgeous range, this. What did you think when you saw the photo oh, itself? Yeah, then? loved it. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. Like you said, you hit the nail on the head, actually, when you said about, um, I agree, that it looks like a painting. Yeah. And the colours were so lovely. It's, it, it's amazing, isn't it? The different tonal variations and... It was one of those, I got told uh, what the fabric range was called and uh, I was straight to Googling it and I was, oh, it was lovely. Yeah. Really excited, yeah. It is. It's just an explosion of beautiful colours, isn't it? So I was very, ex I was very happy to get that delivery. <laughs> happy day, happy yeah, post. It was. We all love a day like that. Well, don't forget, you can have your own happy post today by ordering either the blue or the green bundle, which includes Delphine Brooks instructions. It's the only way you can get that pattern right now. The Dresden Dress Collection. Delphine has, oh, I mean, I think that really outdone herself with this pattern. So many different incredible options for the dresses. It really does, I think this quilt looks like the pages of a fashion designer's book have been taken out and turned into a quilt. And I suppose that's exactly what Delphine's done. You've also got the templates for the original Dresden dress uh, design. But these new designs really take it to a totally different place. So artistic. As I'm thinking of all sorts of people I could make this for. And if you don't want to make the whole quilt, what about a series of cushions? What about a wall hanging with four or nine blocks? That would work. Don't forget we've still got the green and we've still got the blue, but we must be down to literally the last one or two. Three of the blue, three of the blue. There's that code if you want to order the blue, 46.99. And remember that includes two and a half meters of this beautiful fanciful forest fabric, but also most importantly, the Delphine Brooks pattern exclusive can't buy it on its own right now. Now remember you're going to pick your own background fabric, maybe a solid white and if you want to go for that we do have that on our website by, by the half meter. Delphine, roughly how much background fabric? About a metre. About a metre. Yeah. Would you go slightly generous, metre and a half? Yeah, always go more, always go yeah. more because that way if you make any mistakes it doesn't doesn't matter. It's really good advice. £3.49 for a half metre. So an extra half metre is only going to cost you an extra £3.49. Um, I, I, I like to make my, um, when I'm buying fabric to make things, I like to make it cuts proof. Me. <laughs> yeah. In case I miscut something or I mislay something. There we are. One blue, ten green. That's it. Wow. Wow. So if you want to go for the green, if you want to go for the green option. And it's the one that Delphine's using right now. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful results there. I'm just st sticking What are there. you doing there? I'm cheating. What are you doing? Cheating. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just sticking a tiny little bit of bond web on here just so I can, um, well, so I don't have to use a pin. Oh, <laughs> what a fantastic tip. Uh, so just a little. So like a little scrap? Just a little scrap, yeah. So I'll just wait for that to cool down. So I've done the bun these already. So when you're tracing the bodices or the hats yes. or anything like that, for anyone who's not done fusible applique before, what, what's the sequence? So because, uh, especially with this pattern, is not um, symmetrical. So draw on the glue side. Draw on the glue side. Draw on the glue side, uh, especially for any pieces that um, are not symmetrical. If they're symmetrical, then you can just draw on the other side. Okay. And then you glue, and then you press it, as you see me do there, onto the wrong side of the fabric. And then once it's cooled down, just give it a scratch with a pin or some scissors. And then just peel it off. And then position your dress. So the bodice position. lays over the top. Yeah, and then... So we don't even have to finish off the raw edge on the, along the bottom of the, the Dresden? No, just glue it on. And then what I do then is I'll top stitch around the edges of the Dresden skirt. Mm -hmm. And then I would do a, a, a blanket stitch or an, um, a, a, a 
zigzag stitch, very small one, matching thread around the bodice. So you stitch around the bodice, yep. you stitch all the way around the Dresden skirt? Uh, no, I'll just literally top stitch it. You can have it so it's flopping a little yes. bit if you want to. Yes, yes, yes. So. You could even pop almost like a little bit of um, gathered tool yeah. under there, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, do all you, sorts with it. Wow. I mean, you know, you could even give her a bit of cleavage and a bit of a collarbone. You Look could give that. her some jewellery. You could do all yeah. sorts with it, you know. It depends well, who you want it for. Look how just adding a line or two. It does make You're a difference. You're taking off now with your eyes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so that's what. Have I got time? How long have I got left? Yeah, okay. you've finally got five minutes. Ah, so I'll quickly show you one. Uh, another one. Um, Wendy says, good morning. These take me right back to my childhood. I had lots of books with a pop-out doll that you dressed. I spent hours dressing them and it's where my love of design started. Thank you for taking me down memory lane, Delphine. Aww. Loving you two together. I'm Aww. having the best morning. That's really nice. Gorgeous, isn't it? A lovely message from Julie. Hi both. I'm thinking of using these beautiful drawings made up in blocks and used in the panels of my dressing room doors. Yes. What do you think? Brilliant idea. I was actually thinking of uh, doing it as like storage. You know, like oh, uh, cool. you could you could make little pockets and you can put little shoe storage, couldn't you? Oh wow! So so actually the the plique panel would be the front of the pocket. Yeah. That is amazing. I was going to do that, but I didn't have time. I've been busy doing. Okay. Yeah, you're a busy woman. <laughs> I'm a busy lady. Yeah, yeah, you really are. You really are. <laughs> but thank you for sharing your ideas because they're enough to set us off thinking, aren't they? Sorry. I love the way just adding, you saw, saw where Delphine added just a few simple lines to, to that model and suddenly there was a collarbone and a bracelet. I mean, just very simple to adapt. So there's a skirt pattern here that you can have in lots of different... That's a Strictly Come Dancing skirt, it is. So isn't you, it? That's an Argentine tango. So you could have that in, you know, the full length skirt. You could have it, you, you, you know, just cropped at the waist or a yeah. dipped, a dipped, um, what's it called? Waist. Yeah, asymmetric. So let's have... Do you see as well how, how Delphine just sort of got roughly around the line, not on the line first of all, because you want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room Great way of using up little bits of fabric too. There's not a lot of, of fabric used for each dress, is there? You'll have loads left. Loads left. Which we like. The sashing and the borders uh -huh. on the quilt, are we going to have enough in our two and a half metres? I've literally had there what you've got in the bundle, uh -huh. and exactly the same, and I've still got loads there. So they will be going in the returns box, so anyone that will be getting their scrap bags are going to be very happy. Oh, so. something to look out for in the future. So it's amazing, it's amazing. I thought, there we go, she can have a little... Green sold out, one blue left, amazing. Sudden surge at the end there for green. There we go. Okay, so two. really now, realistically, these fabrics, if you've fallen in love with them, your best option is to go for the Mega Bundle. The Mega Bundle, remember, includes 19 half metres of the whole collection. If you're paying for nine metres, you're getting half a metre completely free. The price here is 134.82, two split pays of 67.41. Absolutely gorgeous. Delphine, another sellout. You're amazing. <laughs> You're very kind. So many beautiful, <laughs> beautiful fabrics in this collection. Now, you don't get Delphine's pattern included in this mega bundle, but what you are getting is 19 half metres, the entire collection. And I just think when you look like that, I mean, I just want to dive in and start cutting and making using this incredible collection. You've seen how incredibly effective it is for Delphine's design, but there are so many different ways that you could use these fabrics. Even the, I'm not gonna call it plain, <laughs> say anything but, but the simplest designs offer incredible variety. Borders, bindings, 
I mean, there's just so much, and the quality of the fabric is amazing. Cat, our producer today, is thinking of candy floss. You think you got a sweet tooth? A little bit of a sweet tooth there. I, I, I was thinking of things like fruit. I was thinking of fruit and whole grains, mostly, when I looked at that. <laughs> I didn't used to have a sweet tooth, but I've definitely developed one in more recent years. I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I'm very, very drawn to these designs, actually. These, I love, I love spots on fabric. Um, and these are just take it to a whole new level because they're like a painter has sat meticulously dotting on an already exciting background. Loads of gorgeous fabric there. Lovely message here from Jane, who's in Greater Manchester. Hi both, what a great pairing you are. I feel very fortunate this morning. I've just grabbed the green one and also the early bird. I can't wait for it to arrive so that I can have a play. Jane, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about having a play, about having fun. Oh, definitely. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Because sewing should be fun. No, I know it isn't all the time when we have our little problems, but... Yeah, we have there our we moments. There we go. You forget about them when you see something beautiful. Now, you've totally flipped this on its head this time. Oh, yeah, the Dresden is now the bodice. It's the top, yeah. And I thought she'd look pretty with a... She could have a oh, yeah. hat, a bit of attitude, or, you know, going out for the day. You know, give her a little brolly or something there. Oh, I, a parasol. Yeah. She's in yeah. San Moritz, surely. She, she is with a hat like that. In the marina, walking <laughs> to a lunch date. Yeah, and you know, oh, she's got like a little sarong on. Could be wearing a cosy, couldn't on she? The beach. There you go. So it's just li lots of different ways, you know, you can play with it. Or she yeah. could be a bit more of a, more of a, you know, covered up. Oh, look at that! Completely different. And now that's very dynasty. I feel. It is, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. You know, it says peplum jackets. Do you remember in the 80s? Peplum jackets worn over a, a really fitted tight skirt. Or she could have a... Totally different. Little bra on. How many different models do we get? You get you get two... Well, you can change. It depends what you can, how you have the arm or the leg. So there's two main shapes, but yep. you could... That, there's just loads of... So adaptable. You know, she's got it's a incredible. nice little... You know, she's going to her wedding now. Look, there she goes. And you can layer <laughs> these too, can't yeah. you? Yeah, you, you can, can layer them. Layer them all up. So just have fun with it, and like you, you know, I just quite like messing around with different ideas. And we're back to paper dolls. Yeah, back to paper dolls. We really are, <laughs> Delphine. Ugh, you haven't disappointed. You're incredible. Oh, I thank you. So are you. The last hour with you. <laughs> I've loved the last hour with Delphine, and I can't wait for next Tuesday when Delphine comes back with something that might have something to do with trees. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Love it. Well, that's Delphine Brooks. Everything's sold out. Obs. Apart from that mega bundle, we've still got that. So if you really feel inspired by those fabrics and you want to go in a different direction, well, the same direction that Delphine's taken us, get your mega bundle while you can. Not available as half meters in any other permutation now. This is the only way you can get these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Oh, I just want to get my sewing machine out now and do some sewing after that. Talking of sewing machines, Lots of you have been checking out your Elmer 680 Plus. Back in stock yesterday, more, way more than half the stock went in one day. Three quarters of the stock's gone. This is stock we thought would last us until Christmas. We know that lots of you are going to be tuning in in October and November with Christmas presents in mind, either for a loved one or for yourself. Um, I really, really wouldn't wait. The price will go up on the 1st of October anyway. We've honoured this price for the rest of the month because it's not your fault you had to wait six months for it to come back in stock. So we've kept it at that original price, 1099 You can pay five equal split pays, £219.80 if you want. It's interest free and you only have to make the first payment and we'll send you the machine. Or you can just pay the full £1,099 plus one PMP. If you've already bought Delphine's amazing pattern and fabric bundle, you don't have anything extra to pay for postage and packing. Now go and have a look on the Sewing Street fans page. Ask a question. 
You know, I was reading last night, lots of people were messaging. Thank you, by the way, for all the gorgeous messages yesterday, welcoming me to the family. It does absolutely feel like a family. It is a family. I know John calls it the most dysfunctional family. I think it's the most wonderful, warm and gorgeous family. But ask on the fans page, see what other people who've got the 680 think, get their recommendations, download the instruction manual and have a read through, see whether the functionality, the foot package, the all the extras that you get are going to suit you. Shop around, shop around, see what other prices are available. This is the 680 plus, amazing features on this and some new features on this machine that are really going to take you from where you're sewing right now to where you're going to be sewing in the future. It's going to grow with you. Now, I did spend an hour on this machine yesterday. If you want to look back on that video, go to YouTube and you can watch that hour. You can zip through the bits you don't want to watch. Get straight to the meat and potatoes. The meat and potato. We'll be back after the break and we'll be back with Mark Francis. So don't go away. See you in a few minutes. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things, which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment, but I'm originally from Staffordshire. Uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things. So London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts. And then Staffordshire is very rural. So there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people. Um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable. So I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defence, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page in need of a crafting fix there are so many ways you can watch sewing street and yarn lane sewing street is live from 8 a.m to 1 p.m every day on freeview 72 and sky 670 Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. 
So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay, Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice, are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. And one with an extra large handle. Thank you, Kat. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, I was just mid. How are you? Welcome back to Sewing Street. We've been having a really fun morning. Uh, with some amazing guests and amazing sewing. Um, now, I'm going to start by letting you know about something really important. We're not demoing this today, but a very, very firm favourite pattern of yours, the Sussex Seamstress Framfield dress. Hundreds sold last time it was on air. We've managed to get it back in stock today and already more than half the stock has gone. The price is lower than last time. I think this has fallen into the 35% off, hasn't it? 35% off this one, 10 pounds and eight pence. Now it was demoed on the 12th of July. So if you want to go back and watch how to make various parts to the dress, Rebecca Harrison demoed it, fantastic demos there, really clear. Also the Sussex Seamstress actually does videos on how to make the different dresses. So if you want to see the designer make each stage, you can do that too. But do scroll back and re-watch that show. This is the Framfield dress pattern. It's available in sizes eight to 30 and you get all of those size options in one pattern. That's incredible value. That's incredible value and a really terrific range. Now it should be 15 pound 50, but it's managed to slip into the 35% off bracket, even though we know you absolutely, well, maybe because we know you absolutely love this pattern. It's one you're gonna make again and again and again. It's 10 pounds and eight pence, very precise. <laughs> Shop ahead. We've got less than 20 ahead now. Oh my goodness me. Wow, make sure you check out because I don't want you to have it in your basket and then it suddenly disappear. All right. Gorgeous. Today we've got a different pattern, again from the Sussex Seamstress. This is a beaut. Classic elegance, this. Brilliant for day wear, brilliant for turning into evening wear. This is a fabulous all-rounder. It's called the Horsham. It's called the Horsham. And it's shown there on the front, I think, using a brocade, like a brocade silk. Amazing. It's very chic. It is a simple dress to make. It is a quick dress to make and one which is going to help you develop. If you're a beginner dressmaker, this is going to be a great place to start. You could add pockets. You can hack this too. You could add a collar. All sorts of things you can do with this pattern. But what's lovely is it's a really nice, simple and quick dress pattern to make. So that always makes it popular um, because you can make multiple versions. Now, size wise, this pattern goes from an eight to a 20. So we've got loads and loads of different size options there. I'm opening it. I can't help myself. Naturally inquisitive. <laughs> I like to put a positive spin. I do love a pattern on proper, nice, thick cartridge paper because you can use it again and again and again. I personally, I don't cut these out. I would trace them off or I would put them under the pattern and I would cut under the pattern. You can do that too. But multiple sizes, eight to 20. Um, fabric wise, <clears throat> I'll ask our guest in a minute how much fabric roughly that we need. But, you know, actually, very helpfully, we have put some fabric bundles together anyway. 
which might help. <laughs> this is a gorgeous dress that you could make in denim, actually. Um, as an everyday, goes everywhere, pop on a cardi, pop on a jacket, summer, autumn, winter, doesn't really matter. I'm going to start with dark, oh, medium, medium. This is our medium blue. You're getting two and a half metres of medium blue. Oh, this is smashing. This is smashing. Oh, that feels lovely. It's a medium blue. So this is like your, I would say, your regular jeans, like your regular indigo jeans um, colour. Really lovely. This would be so gorgeous with tan, wouldn't it? Tan belt, tan shoes chunky jewellery. What about wearing a jumper under this, like a roll neck? That would be lovely for autumn. You know, like a pinafore dress, but not a pinafore dress. Woolly tights. Oh. You could wear this all through the year, I think. You, you really could. You could, the, the same dress would that's work. That's Mark, by the way. Don't think that's just somebody wandering through the studio. <laughs> just a voice. <laughs> Hello. It's our lovely Mark Francis, everyone. Yay! I'm back whether you want me to be. <laughs> we want you to be back, Mark. Oh. Yes, an all-rounder, isn't it? I think all so. All year round. Yeah. Two and a half metres there. And that price, amazing. So you can see Laura and Eve wearing it We've there. got dark. We've got the dark denim. Now this is like sort of brand new jeans or the really sort of dark jeans. Um, it looks very dark on screen, doesn't it? Almost sort of black, but it's, but it's a gorgeous deep navy. Is that price right, Kat? $22.99, that's amazing. For two and a half metres of denim, that is fab. Unbeatable. It is unbeatable. That is terrific. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Um, just a very little amount of stretch, like you would expect in denim. A little bit of stretch, a little mm. bit of give, um, which is going to really help with fit as well. Any fabric with a little bit of stretch, you know, they're a little bit more forgiving. That is beautiful. $22.99. Light denim too. Ooh, now this is rather nice. I've had jeans this colour. I had the nice pair of flares that colour. This is spring summer to me. That's lovely. Really lovely. And again, teaming that with cardigans, with a roll neck, with a t shirt worn under it, actually, because it's sleeveless and, um, you know, you might prefer to have covered arms. Doesn't mean that you have to start putting sleeves on this dress. This is a nice light denim, so perfect for layering. Um, if you're going to regularly wear it with um, a sweater or, a, you know, something like a roll neck underneath it, you might want to just go between sizes, mm -hmm. I would say. Just go err on the side of generosity when you're sizing this. It's easy to make it smaller. Easy to make smaller. Yes, less easy to make it larger. Exactly right, exactly right. Now this can is always say it's oversized if it's too big. Well, just I say agree, I like a relaxed fit. Mm. I do like a relaxed fit anyway. You know, I want to be able to have a, a big Sunday dinner and not have to change into my pyjamas, although that is also <laughs> lovely, isn't it? Isn't it though? When you've had a big Sunday lunch, elasticated waist, and you could just sit there and sort of, <laughs> oh, I'm covered in bits of thread. Elliot, our director, has stopped telling me that I'm covered in thread because I think now he's got used to the fact that I come with thread. <laughs> it's just how I arrive. Is he the director? <laughs> now this is our Chartreuse enzyme washed 100% linen. Two and a half meters again. What does this Chartreuse is... enzyme washed mean? Well Chartreuse is the colour. Oh okay. So it's that fabulous green. Um, it is a beautiful, it's like a leaf green. It's like a leaf green. And then it's enzyme washed. I'm not 100% certain of what that does. Does that mean it's antibacterial? I don't think it does. <laughs> but it is absolutely lovely. And again, it's a really, it's a gorgeous weight. Really lovely weight. Maybe it gives could a look it up. Ah. Now, we know what enzyme wash does now. It gives it a, a slightly aged look. 
and also a softer feel. So like sometimes you get linen and it feels very stiff and yes. quite hard. So this feels soft and fluid, floaty. It's going to be lovely on your skin. Do you pre-wash fabrics before you dress make with the mark? Do you know, quite often I don't. Which I, I think I, this is a kind of a Marmite kind of thing, isn't it? Uh, definitely. Uh, some people do, some people don't. Although I have fallen into the trap of making something, wearing it, washing it later to find that it's shrunk. Shrunk a little bit. Depen but it depends on the fabric. Especially if the fit was snug in the first place. Or you've had a big Sunday lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, although in those circumstances, you shrink afterwards. You hope. Give it 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> with a bit of luck. <laughs> now the fabric that Mark's gonna be demonstrating this dress with is actually a bit of moda gorgeous bit of mode, which I've got right here. Now we haven't bundled this, so you can choose the amount that you need for your size. Um, these are available by the half meter. And remember when you choose that option, you're buying it in increments. One increment is half a meter, two increments is one meter and so on. And it comes as a continuous length. However, maybe like Mark has added a pocket mm. to the Horsham dress and he's lined it with this and edged it with this fabric to create a little bit of contrast. The dress has got facings. Um, there they are, there are the pockets. And you can see as well, you've got that little outline detail around the edge of the pocket there, where just a little bit of that fabric is peeping out. Really lovely touch. That's the Moda option. And that's like a kind of red on cream. Oh, Minnick and Simpson, I love them loads of their fabric. So that's one option. Now let's look at the other options. Well this is a this one really appeals to me. This is, is this a little William Morris or a little William Morris inspired? It's, oh it's exclusive to us. 749 for a half meter. That is absolutely beautiful. I want a shirt in this and I want it now. That is lovely. You'd probably have a smoking jacket in that, wouldn't you, Mark? Uh, absolutely. Does yeah. it come in velvet? Exactly. Oh, that's delish. That's the boxer shorts. Pajamas. Hey, it's lovely. Pajamas. A dressing gown. A dressing gown. I'm thinking of all sorts. The Horsham dress. Oh, bow tie. A tie. A cravat. A twilly. A twilly. And you know what my twilly is covering up now? The fact that a gravy my, stain. Oh, it's close. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I need a twilly. I need a twilly. Except I need that twilly to be this big. <laughs> this, this big. Basically, I need a bib. I need a bib. Right. Oh, this is delicious. That's wow. Fun, isn't it? Wow. That's something special. The aerial fabric collection from Wyndham. Oh my goodness. Six ninety nine for a half meter. Now that would mix. Oh, let me just hang on. Look at that with the with the dark oh, denim. Yeah. Now we could, you could create a collar to go on this dress. You could create contrast pockets. You could even use this for the facings inside the neck and the arms, the armholes, just so you see it and are delighted by it when you get dressed in the morning or in the afternoon. I often don't dress till the afternoon. Oh, oh really? In your smoking jacket? I, no, I just stay in my pajamas. Oh. And I and I sort of float around, especially if I'm sewing. I'll stay in my gym jams. I'll do my sewing, and then I realise it's four o'clock. But I know that I'm talking to friends here, and you understand. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then our final option again. This is gorgeous, and this would work really, really well, I think, with the. I'm thinking. Mm, Mid denim? Yes. Look how that works with the mid-toned denim. Really lovely. This floral, country floral, on a blue, completely exclusive to us, 749 for a half meter. You could make the whole dress out of this. We're talking about adding on details, but you could use the whole, make the whole dress out of this. Um, two and a half meters, so five units when you buy. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Now there's a few other things that we've got in the show that you'll need for the Horsham dress, including invisible zips. And we have got some invisible zips. 
We've got some invisible zips. We've got a cream. Just going to turn that over. Two ninety nine for that. It's twenty two inches in length, fifty six centimeters. We've got our black option. Mark, are you going to show us how to do an invisible zip? Well, I was looking at the pieces I've got, and I realised I don't have it as a zipped. So, will you show us another time? Yes. Great. I, if I've got a foot, I could. I could do you it. You know, now. actually, I, I was looking this morning. The the Sussex seamstress has a video for this for this dress and shows you how to put the invisible zip in. So, if that's something that's making you think, oh no, I'm not sure. I could. I no, I don't think I could do that. I watched the video this morning. It's really clear, really straightforward. Um, could we make the dress without a zip? Well, I thought you could hack it to put a nice big chunky zip in. Like so, that. Yeah, so you don't... An exposed zip. Exactly, which is mm. a, a, if you're worried about getting the neatness and the invisibility uh, of the invisible zip, yep. you don't have to worry about that with a big exposed, like, like a jean zip, something Absolutely. with big Metal gold teeth. teeth. Yeah, and you can just, uh, just, you could just top stitch it in place, really, on, on sort of, just pop it... Uh, behind? Yeah, pop yeah. it behind, just top stitch it on, and uh, just get jobs are good. Yeah, Mark, wonderful ideas as always. I think it's time we ha I hand it over to you, and we can watch your demos. Please. I was enjoying seeing the fabric. Well, I might show them to you later. Okay, I haven't decided yet. It's Away a lovely, again. it's a lovely simple dress. You'll get this done nice and quickly. I was quite, again, I was, there's only a few pieces, so you've got a front, you've got two back pieces and the facing, that's all you have to contend with. Um, wow. I've already put the darts in. As I mentioned in the previous show, for those of you who weren't watching, where were you? But uh, don't backstitch your darts. Leave them uh, with long threads and just tie the threads off in a nice little knot, and then you won't get a puckered cleavage. Because the... Uh, Nobody wants that. Today. No, absolutely not. And that's such an easy tip to, to get, get success. If you needed to raise or lower the darts, not a difficult job. Yeah, uh, this is it. And it's important to make sure they're sitting where they need to do. Right. Uh, or else they, it just, it can look a little uh, untidy. Right. Are you a fan of the twirl? Yes, I am actually. Depends what I'm doing. If it's a new pattern, yeah. I quite like to, to, to do that. And um, you could, so if you've not done that before, a toile is simply using calico or a plain cotton fabric to mock up um, the dress, the blouse, whatever you're making, the trousers. And just do the important bits. You don't need all the length. If the only bit that you want to check is the fit of the bust, the fit of the bodice, you could just, just, just do that part. You don't have to do anything like facings or buttonhole zips. Oh, no. And I have seen people do that. I've seen people twiling. There's someone I follow who's done nine twiles for a jacket, and each one is beautifully finished. Oh, I'm thinking, I, I don't know quite why. why you're doing that. Yeah. Um, I, if I'm twiling trousers, I won't do a zip. I'll just sew it up the yeah, front. Yeah, exactly. You're just checking the fit, aren't you? And make any yeah. adjustments to that twile. And then when you cut into your beautiful mode of fabric or your enzyme-washed linen or your denim... You can get it right first time. Enzyme washed. I now we know. I like that. I like. See, I did have a linen shirt from my charity shop, and it was rough as old boots. It really ah. was. And no matter how many times I washed it, it didn't, it didn't settle down. So in the end, gotcha. it went back to the charity shop. But this starts out really soft, really drapey, and already with a sort of vintage look and feel to it. Bam. Mm. Okay, over to you. If you wanted to put pockets on, now is the time to do it. The pockets I did on the on the hacked dress are just rectangles, which I've then bagged out. And I put this on the back and the denim on the front, or you could do whatever combination you like. And you just I just top stitch mine on at this point. You can have a lot of fun putting them where you want them. Make sure they're in the right place for you. You could change the shape. You could have triangular pockets, mm, mm. circular pockets. Yeah, no anything pockets you at like. All. No pockets, inseam pockets. You could pop those uh, on the sides, which are just like cutting out like an ear shape. Um, we've covered those before on various dresses and things that we've done. You might find if you've got another pattern that it's got the pattern pieces and instructions for doing that if you're not sure. But if you're not, that is all you need to do to prep the front piece is to just pop those darts in. Now you're using a small print there. I mean, whenever I see a simple pattern, I always think really bold, 
huge print would work as well because mm. you haven't got lots of complicated geometry to break up the pattern. So if you found a really gorgeous big floral or something with a very bold pattern on it, that simplicity of line is going to be perfect to use a more complex looking fabric on too. It gives you a nice area, surface area, just to show off that print. So I think it's just a real workhorse, this dress. I Imagine think so. it's so many different styles. And I didn't worry about... I I'm not a pattern matching kind of, I know Patrick gets a bit, uh, Patrick Grant on, Patrick on the sewing bee. He, <laughs> yes, <laughs> he, he likes his pattern matching very much. He and um, But it depends where it is and what the garment is and, and how fussy you want to be about it. I can imagine mm. people on the sewing bee picking this and trying to match all the little squiggles and things, but... Absolutely, but, um, absolutely. I mean, I like asymmetric anyway, which is fortunate because mm. I don't like matching patterns either, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, absolutely. But with a small print like that, it's not a worry, I, is it? No, a I, little I, mode of print. I wouldn't bother. Um, unless it makes you happy, then please do. Now, if you're doing the zip, you go on to the zip next. It's good to get it out of the way early, isn't it? Get the zip out of the way early, then you don't have to worry about it. Agreed. So on the on the piece here, there is a little, I just cut a little notch there. That is where you'll sew up to or down from, depending which direction you're going. Uh, it's a one centimeter seam allowance on this. One centimeter. Once, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm yes, now, it is. Now I've just said that. Um, it is, oh good. And Mark, yes. one centimetre, for those of us who work in Imperial. In what? Imperial. Oh, Imperial. Old money. Oh, sorry. I, yes, I misheard. <laughs> Set three eighths of an inch, one centimetre. Uh, I, that sounds about right to me. But I'm a bit of a generation where we were taught a bit of both at school. Yes. So I'm happy to use either, but I can't necessarily. No, convert translate between from the one, two. one to the other. But I have learnt five eighths is a centimetre and a half, so three, three eighths. eighths sounds. But cool. machines sometimes mark it like that, don't they? On your sewing machines, they do. Still. They do absolutely. Well, if you've gone for the Elmer six eighty plus machine, well done you. You were quick off the mark. You've got those markings on the plate, on the stitch plate of the machine. And one thing that's really, really amazing about the Elna, uh, which I mentioned yesterday, is you can change the stitch plate uh, to a straight stitch plate. Now, normally with those plates, you have to start getting a screwdriver out and undoing screws. And actually, if you watch back yesterday, I told you that you would have to use a screwdriver and remove screws because I had not seen the change to the 680 to the 680 plus and actually you do not use screws there is a little button that you pop the plate comes out you click the straight stitch plate in which would work brilliantly for this the other thing is usually when you put the straight stitch plate on you need to remember to only use a straight stitch otherwise you'll break your needle this machine knows when you've changed stitch plate and it will not let you do anything other than stitch which will work through that straight stitch plate. Isn't that amazing Mark? It is and the Juki does something similar Incredible. Actually. Yeah. Incredible. Although I tend to forget it's on there and then uh, yeah but but it's nice to have isn't it if you It's a nice need option it. to have and, and I know a lot of people do do love you doing that very much. Yep. So that seam done. That is a seam done. You would normally put your dart, your, your your zip in at this stage. I don't have a zip to pop in. That's um, I can't remember if I wasn't sent one or if I've just forgot left it somewhere. But anyway, uh, I'll do that another time. Um, but then they're really not tricky. You will need an invisible zip foot if you're doing an invisible zip, mm -hmm. or so they don't go in quite so nicely. Um, I have tried doing invisible zip with a regular foot, and you can't get. It does it, but you can't get close enough, and you end up with a little little lap either side. Yeah, where you, you can see which just does a defeat little. the object slightly of having an invisible zip. It does, but actually, you know, I mean, there's plenty of dresses that you get with with visible zips mm. in them. I mean, very chunky zips that are very obviously visible, but also. And just I think that's quite fashionable. Lee. It is absolutely, today. and if you match the colour of the zip well to the to the fabric that you're using anyway, I mean, that blends it in too. Right, so let's sew this together now, the front and the back. But we're only going to sew up the sides. Okay. Because we close it up on the shoulders. Because we have a facing to come. Okay. 
and the facing covers in one go both the neck hole and the uh, armholes. Amazing, okay. Which means you've got to pull it through somewhere. I see. And uh, it, ah, otherwise, so ah, you close it up on the shoulders rather yes. than pulling it through. There's various different ways of doing it, aren't there? One very popular method is called the burrito method. Yes. Now, I, I ducked out of doing that on my last show I was here, because, uh, uh, but I, I haven't ever tried it, you know. I've used it for shirts. Yes. It, yeah. It's one of those processes that feels very strange until you're actually doing it, and then you think, oh, 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 I see now. Yeah. I understand. I always do my shirts, the non-burrito method. Okay. But on the last year at Sony, they had to do it with a burrito. Oh. But I think if I was in the room, I'd be tempted to do it the way I... I'm comfortable doing Oh, absolutely. It. But There's then Esme would probably mark there. you down for that, wouldn't no, she? No. If all this talk of burritos is making you hungry, <laughs> <laughs> we can't deliver Mexican food to your door, but we can deliver this amazing pattern, the Horsham dress pattern. There's ease. There's ease. <laughs> That's why I talk about a comfortable fit. Always thinking about food. Oh, Do we not lovely. have burritos in the accessories section? Again. Do we not have burritos in the accessories section? No? No. No, I thought we did. Accessories? You know, on the website. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we do, but I'll have a look. Maybe Kat can get some in. <laughs> you can, of course, um, shop ahead. For any products, we have got a fabulous visit from uh, representatives from the WI coming at 12 o'clock. Super excited about meeting them. We've also got an exclusive panel, um, which you can't get anywhere else, to help celebrate a very special birthday for the WI too. It's on pre-order at the moment, so you can get ahead and buy that. It's wonderful. The WI Inspiring Women. It's just a fantastic thing. You might be in the WI, you might know somebody in the WI. You might be thinking about joining the WI. I'm going to be interested to talk to the ladies about how the WI kept going during lockdown, when we couldn't physically meet, how they carried on inspiring women and creating that sense of community and what they've got coming up for the future as well. So make sure to stick around at 12 o'clock when I'll be talking with the WI. But right now, we're with Mark Francis and the gorgeous Horsham dress from the Sussex Seamstress. Mark, I'm just where going, are you up to? I'm just about to re-thread the machine. Okay, <laughs> let's come back at that point. Hang on. Now it's the Horsham a... dress is 8 to 20, size 8 to 20. Really, really good range there in sizes. And remember, we were both talking earlier on about maybe going for a slightly bigger size, one up than you would normally go, particularly if you want to layer with this dress. If you're thinking about wearing it through autumn and winter, slightly sort of heavier weight denim. We've got those bundles, don't forget. We've also got the gorgeous enzyme washed linen, which is gonna be a, a beautiful weight for autumn but also will take you through the winter as well with things like cardigans wearing a sweater underneath as well. You sound like you're whizzing along there, Mark. I am. Side seams. Side seams, I'm just going down the second side seam now. Most dressmaking is straight line stitching. If you've ever wanted to try dressmaking, I think this dress is a brilliant place to start because it's a front and a back. It's a front and a back with the facing. facing. The facing is probably the most di uh, most fiddliest bit you'll have to put in, I think. We don't mind a little bit of fiddle, do we? Especially when, actually, this is the kind of dress that you could make in an afternoon. Oh, I say. That was vicious. What was that? That was a crack. <laughs> I thought everything's gone flying. Give it a good crack. <laughs> <laughs> Including the burritos. Um, I won't do it all now. You need to press your seams. Very important as you go along. Press your seams. So press the side seams. They look nice and crisp. So I've turned it the right way, but you can press your seams open. You can finish them with an overlocker if you had one. You can finish them with a zigzag and just trim it close to the zigzag um, or some pinking shears. Or do you know what? I have made stuff for myself and I haven't finished the seams. Mm. And it doesn't always, it doesn't fall to bits 
immediately. So no, I think if you're going to go to nice the trouble, it is nice to finish it. It is yes. nice to finish. It is. I think if you're going to go to the trouble of making something, though, finishing the edges is really important. You could also um, bind the seams, yeah. couldn't you? Because you've only got sort of pretty simple straight seams. You could do a Hong Kong finish. A Hong Kong finish. Love a Hong Kong finish. Now the facing there, Mark, there's no interfacing added to that. It's just fabric. This is just fabric. Now I would, if I was you putting this on, I would actually interface this because it's, this is quite light. Yes, it is. I didn't fa interface the denim. No, for denim you wouldn't need you, it. I d you don't need to, no. So this is the kind of weird kind of shape that you get for this one. Ooh. Like this kind of snake thing wiggling across the desk. I'm seeing all sorts in that, Mark. I'm seeing snakes. Do, 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 do. It's like the river, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that's not where I thought you were going. Um, but there's the, that's the, the front there. And this half here is the back, and that's where it will cover the zip. So we need to hmm. pop this on place now. But we won't sew the shoulders. OK. So you've got a little crease, a little fold in the centre there that you're matching up with the centre of your dress, yeah? That's right. It's important to get it centered, or else it can look a bit... Uh, what colour pin shall I have now? Oh, black ones. So that it looks... Uh, uh, you don't want it to go skew if, do you? No, not at all. Not at all. Because you'll, you'll be cursing yourself if it is. It comes together really quickly, this dress, doesn't mm. it? Love well, that. Yeah, I, I do. Sometimes it, it's nice to have maybe a project that's taking a bit longer mm -hmm. and then something that you can do in the meantime. Yeah, absolutely. You've just seen some lovely fabric like the denim, light, medium and dark denims, all that enzyme washed linen in chartreuse, beautiful colour for the autumn and winter. Got some lovely florals as well, very inspired. Um, Jane's message in to say, lovely idea for the zip mark. Ah. Thanks for messaging in. Thank you, James. It was a lovely idea for the zip using that chunky zip. I, I have Fab. a drawer of zips at home. I, Do you? I, yeah, yeah. So I, I quite often, I mean, I did acquire, so you know how people just give you stuff sometimes? For sure. Um, yeah. uh, as in like friends and and neighbours and things. And yeah. oh, you know, old Auntie Doris has passed away and do you want all her sewing stuff? So you oh. end up with all these like buttons and bits and pieces. Oh, so yeah. I ended up with a whole drawer full of zips. Which a little is button always, tin, Mark. Yes, I have sorted mine out. So they're all colour coordinated now. Oh, nice. But I, I still have to tin. tip them out to try and find a matching set. Mm. Oh, like, yeah. It's like a challenge. It is. Going Keeps you busy on a rainy afternoon. <laughs> button so, phobia is, I think, the 13th most common phobia. Really? Yes, it is. You are full of facts. And it's much more you? common in men than women. I button phobia. I wonder why yeah. that is. Now, you're not going to sew right up to the edge on the shoulder strap here. You're going to stop one and a half centimetres from the end. That is so you can tuck in those uh, those ends. So Is that where the zip's going to be? No, this is on the shoulders. Oh, I'm sorry, on the shoulders. Yeah, this is on the shoulders. Or No, not a centimetre and a half, a centimetre, sorry. Mm -hmm. Because it's a centimetre seam allowance on this one. Oops. Uh, okay. So let's just go around that. All these black pins are short. Nice to see you taking them out before you get to them, Mark. <laughs> Have you been talking to Clive? Don't sew over pins, do we? Because <laughs> last time I did that here, I ended up with uh, blood. I remember when I, we were filming the Christmas special of The Sewing Bee and somebody mentioned sewing over pins. And I remember Anne, who won the, the first series of The Sewing Bee, and I looking at each other and just sort of raising our eyebrows and shuddering. And it was just such a funny moment because we just thought, <laughs> oh, don't do that. It, again, it's a bit of a Marmite thing, isn't it? Some people will say it's fine. Other people won't ever. I'm sort of somewhere between. I do try to take them out, but sometimes I do. Um, if it's something fiddly. Yeah, sometimes you forget as well. Yeah. But Clive's always telling me off for sewing over pins. You see. Now you've got me ganging up on you as well. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're under pressure, you know. I know. Um, I know. I've matched up the underarm seam just so that 
it looks nice and neat. And you're actually matching up the seams on the on the right sides. Got you. So it, it can look a bit kind of off centre when you're sewing it from the inside, but on the outside it should look. It's all good. Claire's yes. message in to say, I have a button tin and selected two for pockets. I put them in a safe place. Could I find them when I needed them? <laughs> no. Nope. Later I found them in my purse. Oh, no. <laughs> oh Claire. I've got little, more things like that. I've got a little I'll put this somewhere light. safe. I've got a little tea light pot. Yeah. It doesn't have a tea light in it, but it does have buttons in for projects. If I'm a project I'm making, okay. I'll find the buttons and I'll pop them in there until I need them. Claire puts them in her purse. Love it, Claire. <laughs> Love it. Never put things in a safe place would be my advice because you always forget where you've put them. I certainly do. I'm like that with Christmas cards. I buy Christmas cards and I think, oh, that's lovely. Oh, that, no, I'll get those. I'll get them in advance and then I'll be ready. And then I put them and then I find them on Boxing Day or something like that. So I end up buying three lots of Christmas cards. And then I invariably miss the post as well. And so I end up writing, post, uh, writing, writing Christmas cards and then not giving them. I'm terrible. You have to do e-postcards, e-Christmas cards. Yes, they are a thing now, aren't they? Yes, I had one for my cousin. Did you? I looked at it and went, oh, that's nice. And then you close the email. But, so mm. it doesn't sit on the mantelpiece, does no. it? No. Oh, I do like cards on a mantelpiece. Maybe they should. You could just get the same ones out from last year. Get the same cards out from last year. Look, I'm popular. <laughs> I've got a hundred Christmas cards everywhere. They're all from my mum and dad. <laughs> Where are you at? Well, I've just stopped midway just to show you what it looks like. So this is the back. That's where the zip will be, the underarm and the two shoulder pieces that will eventually marry up like that. And you can see where I'm sewing round. That's a good colour for telly, isn't it? Look at that. You can see that nice and clearly. Mm -hmm. I will clip around these, these corners for when I turn it out, or else it can look a little... Uh, it's really important on curves, isn't it? Clip it. Clip into the curves. It is. Um, do you clip or do you notch? Uh, I just clip into it. Because, yeah, yeah I, I, don't not, I don't think I... No, I very rarely... Because I'm too lazy. Fair enough. I did hear Debbie Shaw give her, a, her top tip was to use the crocodile scissors. I was going to ask, could you use, could you well, use pinking never, shears? I haven't tried it myself, but it was a Debbie Shaw tip, so yeah. it must be true if Debbie Shaw says it. Because a, a um, notching will give a bit more movement, won't mm. it? It will, mm. but it depends how it sits, really. Crocodile scissors. But, uh, crocodile scissors. Pinking shears. <laughs> pinking shears. We had a, a gold pair. And we just, as kids call them, crocodile scissors. And we'd use the old Christmas cards yes. to make gift tags. Mum yes. would tell it, give us the scissors and the uh, cards and tell them to cut them up. To oh, your mum actively encouraged you to use dressmaking scissors on card. Yes. My mum would have been very cross with she that. Didn't do, mum didn't do dressmaking. Oh, she, fair enough. She mended and she would knit. Got you. But when you've got four kids and yeah. a husband and dogs and yeah. chickens and stuff, you haven't got time for Oh, tell me about it. I know about that. I know about chickens. Whoa. The responsibility. They used the to keep the dog in order, that's for sure. <laughs> Got about five minutes, Mark. Oh, have we? So, I'll doing a brilliant job there. I'll finish the facing off, then we can turn it through. And then all you'd need to do after that would be to sew the shoulders together. It's a quick dress, isn't it? It is very quick. I mean, I've been doing this for about half an hour. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm doing it quite quickly, of course. You want, you'll want to take a bit more time than For that. sure. And For I have sure. prepped a little bit in advance. Well, often I think cutting out um, a garment is, can be a third of the time, can't it? A third yeah. of the time cutting out, a third of the time sewing it together, and a third of the time finishing things like top stitching, hand sewing buttons, that sort of thing. I'm sure, oh, they're there, look. Um, and on sewing bee, I don't know about you, but I saw some people, I heard one of them say, I'm going to take my time to cut out. I want this to be perfect. I'm oh, thinking, don't you? You yeah. haven't got She's time. She's going home. Well, she went home before me, no. but not that week. I do, you can't, you can't. I mean, at home, you absolutely can. At home, I oh, yeah. really recommend, always recommend, let, spend time. Spend time cutting out, thinking about getting your layout just right, you know. But yeah, on the sewing bee, it's just throw it down, cut it out, sew it together again. Because you can be quite conservative with the fabric. Um, I mean, they do have a lot of plans that tell you how to lay it out, but um, 
if you're like me and you're a bit rogue and don't follow that, then you can be so economical. Important, so important to have scissors that are sharp to the tip. If your scissors aren't doing, aren't cutting like that, treat yourself to some new ones. Yeah, mine don't do this. So we'll have to get the right pair. There's nothing like that sound though, is it? Sharp scissors cutting through fabric. And we bought a sharpener, but it doesn't seem to, I don't know, it's not quite doing it. It's not quite the same. No. Maybe to get a professional to sharpen them. So I'm just turning this through now. Oh, lovely message. Oh. By Collector in Cambridgeshire. Hello, Stuart and Mark. I do hope you can both work together again. Calm, restful presentation. Inspirational, extra chit chat. Such an enjoyable morning. Aww. Thank you. That's, That's a nice lovely. Message, isn't That's it? really nice. Really nice. It has been lovely to spend two hours with you, Mark. It has. We should do it again. Where we should. Well, well yeah. Let's do it. <clears throat> we'll just do this at home. Yeah, definitely. Come round. Oh, we? isn't it lovely now we can get together? It is. Although, bizarrely, I haven't seen John Scott since, apart from in here, since, um, since the lockdown has eased. And of course, now he's enjoying a very well-earned holiday. He is. He has left the country. Has he? He has left the country. Just somewhere lovely. He did tell me. Gorgeous. And I forgot. Catalonia. Ah. Captain Corelli's mandolin. I could see him in a, on a little uh, Greek. Is it Greek? Yes. On a Greek island in front of a white house with a blue sky. Oh, that's sniggering? Santorini. Beautiful, beautiful. You sniggering at my lack of geography? No, not at all, oh. not at all. My, oh, my geography's terrible. I wasn't allowed to do geography at school. I did A-level and I still don't know where places are. <laughs> I mean, I know where London is, obviously. I can get myself to Liberty. Oh, I love Liberty. <laughs> I like going to look at the sail. Of the course. Fabric. There we go. I'm just pressing it, and you'll see how this is coming together now with a nice, particularly on a cotton or denim, you get a nice crisp finish there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all been snipped all the way around. You do that all the way around, and then you have to join these pieces together. So you can sew it on your machine, the right sides together, and then you just slip stitch the, the insides. Oh, okay. That's a really neat way of doing it. Yeah. And that's most of the dress done. That's most of it. You've got to hem it. Yeah. Um, and then you're more or less done. You could put a little button down the front if you wanted. Right. Uh, Eve is wearing it in that previous shot with mm. a collar. It's not a shirt. It's just a collar. Just a collar that you like on. pin to it? Or? I think she just puts it round, you know, like the detachable collar. Oh, so so yeah. you can wear it with a dress. Makes it look totally different, doesn't it? Yeah. And worn with a jacket as well. Um, nice with trainers. Yeah. Really nice with trainers. This is this would suit any age, wouldn't it? I think that's a lovely dress. I'm amazed how high that um, Laura can jump in that picture. Well, I think we're all impressed by that. Fabulous, Mark. Thank you so much. When are you back? I'm back in October. Hurrah. Um, will the magic people in your ear tell me when? Because I can't remember. Not sure. Sometime in October. Sometime in October. Mm -mm. Don't worry, it'll be on my social media. Well, it will give us something to look forward to. It's remember. the 23rd, Mark. 23rd. It's the 23rd Why that day of ring October. About? That's the day. Why does that ring a bell? Well, hopefully because you've got in your diary that you're on live television. <laughs> that is because it's the day <laughs> yep. I met Clive. Oh. Oops, on a blind date. I want hearts everywhere. I want heart balloons. I want kittens. I want champagne. <laughs> I'll have to bring him in. I don't in. get anything I want. I'll, I'll bring him in. Is that your rider, is it? That's on my rider. <laughs> Big balloons and kittens. Thank you so much for that, Mark. Pleasure. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been so lovely to see you today. And hopefully I'll see you on the 23rd, Fabulous. if we're allowed. And thank you for staying tuned to Sewing Street. It's been wonderful to have your company. Now, we have the dress patterns. How are we doing with Framfield? Framfield's gone. Framfield's gone. But we do still have the Horsham dress, which you've seen Mark demonstrating today. Brilliant in denim, brilliant in the linen or a floral. You decide, make it your way. It's a dress that you can make so many different time, ways, so many different uh, fabrics, different ways to hack it. It's a really good basic. Comes in sizes eight to 20. So a really good size range, £15.50. <clears throat> Remember, it's on really good quality cartridge paper. So this is a pattern to use again and again and again. I think it's timeless. I think it's very elegant. It's a nice, simple, quick dress. Just three pieces, basically. 
<clears throat> a front and a back and a facing. That just is in separate pieces, but you sew them together. Really, really simple. It does have an invisible zip in it, but as Mark said, you could hack that and put a wide, chunky metal zip, a very visible zip in. You could use a, a regular zip as well. Um, and just a beautiful, beautiful dress from the Sussex Seamstress. Make sure you check out your baskets. Now there is brilliant support online from Sussex Seamstress. I've mentioned her videos a few times in the last hour. They are super, I watched one this morning, very calm, very, very sort of by your side, guiding you through the process. Yeah, long straight seams are speeded up, so there's not loads to wade through. The video was about 15, 16 minutes and covered all the basics. Remember, you can watch today's demo from Mark again and again. We also have a demo from Rebecca Harrison on the 29th of May. So you can always go back and watch that. Brilliant, brilliant pattern from the Sussex Seamstress. Now, the bundles that we've got, the fabric bundles, we'll run through. We've got that medium blue. Amazing price this. You've got two and a half meters of the medium blue denim. 22.99. I think that's incredible. That's enough to make up to size 20. So the largest pattern that you can use your your um, your Horsham dress you can make from two and a half meters. 22.99. We've also got a dark blue option. This is like your smart jeans, isn't it? You're really dark blue. I think of them like my slimming jeans. <laughs> Make me look smaller. Um, but a great colour that, really lovely. And the feel of this denim is gorgeous. It's very soft, it's very fluid. It's not all stiff and chunky. It's really, really fluid and soft. It's gonna feel great. It's gonna hang well on you. Um, you heard Mark say you don't need to add an interfacing when you're making the facings out of this, unless you really, really wanted to. Um, light blue denim. This is a really good fabric for beginners, I think. It's a nice structured fabric. It's got a little bit of give in it, which will help with the fit, but it's not going to make the sewing of it uh, any more difficult. Really lovely that. So smooth and soft. And then our final bundle is the Enzyme Washed Linen in Chartreuse. We've only got three of these left. I'm not surprised. It's an absolutely glorious colour. Really elegant. My friend Joan would look amazing in this. She's got some red in her hair. It's beautiful. Um, gorgeous colour that really gorgeous. Enzyme washed, remember, just means that it's been washed to give it a slightly aged look and also to make it really soft and supple as well. So it's not stiff, crisp linen. It's lovely, soft, fluid linen. Those are our bundles. Now, after the break, we've got a really, really special and exciting hour. Exclusive panel from the WI. <laughs> we've also got a lovely mixture of sewing kits, knitting kits, crochet books. We've got all sorts and I get to meet two lovely members of the WI who I'm going to be having a wonderful chat with about what they've been doing during lockdown, what they're doing right now and their plans for the future. So you won't want to miss it. It'll be a lovely hour. Lots of lovely things to look at too. Stay with us. We'll see you after this. watching for lots of knitting and crochet on Yarn Lane. You don't need to change channels, pop the kettle on and meet us back here in a couple of minutes. You can also watch on the Yarn Lane YouTube channel and Facebook Live. To get a sneaky peek of the products featured on the show and shop, please go to the Yarn Lane website at www.yarnlane.com or via our UK call centre on 0800 4 700 600. And remember, if you've already shopped with Sewing Street today, you won't pay any more postage and packaging for shopping with Yarn Lane because it's 1 p.m.p. across both channels all day.
Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? 